We're live. Did they, does, he, does he have an Oculus? Does he have an Oculus? No. Imagine oh. him with one. Oh, I can't yeah. imagine, yeah. An Oculus. Imagine, I said, does, yeah, she asked if you had an Oculus. I said, no, imagine him with one. It's not a good idea. My God. Hi, everybody. What a day. What a day. Um, okay, so... I want to correct something I said in the car because I, I don't even know if anybody, when I said that Hunter Johnson didn't speak of anybody but Ethan, he did mention Zayna. He didn't mention Kaylee, which was the odd thing because Kaylee was with him when they came out for the noise disturbance call in August. He was at the house in September. He definitely knew who Kaylee was. Why did he not mention her? Does anybody find that strange? Guys, anybody on the panel? Yes, now that you mention it. Isn't that very yeah. strange? Yeah. It's incredibly strange, yeah. So I don't know why he would What's the deal that. with that? I don't I, know. I That's no a little idea scary. Were, yeah. that, that to me... <laughs> okay, and this is just my take on it. <clears throat> Allegedly, I, you know, this is me, my opinion. My opinion is maybe he was told not to mention it by a girl. Maybe. He said, what do you do? You like her? You know, you were at, like, was there some kind of animosity either from a girl to her that if he was still with this Emily, I don't know if he was, but was there something? And you better not I mention how much you like her. Yeah. And how that's, nice that's... she was. I'm just saying. And that's what comes to my mind. It's odd. And L wanted to know if you could send her the email to come up. It's a, it's the same one, L. That you wasn't she on today? I don't know if she was on. I don't think she was. Yeah, it's the same one, L. The so, same one as last time. Use the same one that you called in last time. Same one I sent to you last night. We haven't changed it yet. So to me, I find that extremely odd. And then did anybody find like some of his remembrances of Ethan were like slams? Yeah, he's not good with money and um, he didn't pay him back. He'll never get that $34. He actually said that? Mm -hmm. He said, I'll never get that $34 yeah. he owed me? Yes. What? Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Debbie, two scooter check entering the room. Two scooter entering did, the room. Did you see that scooter that, that Hunter Johnson didn't mention Kaylee? I was trying to understand what you were talking about. You said at the uh, memorial, right? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't see that. I'm going to send you a link. Okay. Go check it out and then tell me what you think. It's only, it's only nine minutes. What, you want me to watch it right now? Why don't you play it for everybody? Yeah. Because can you play it? I don't. Or I not. don't think so because I don't know who's who's. You know who owns that memorial ah, service. You know. Got it. Yeah. But I can. Uh, let me see. It's very short. I mean, you can see, but just see what you think about his remembrances. Okay, because I I'll stay on here. I'll watch. Yeah, it on just stay on and go on mute. Okay, and I'm gonna eat too. I have warmed up my food. Okay. okay. All I right. will be. I'm going to send it to you in, in uh, I'm going to send it to you in Slack. Because I'm just going to send it to every, uh, to Nicole and Sharon to in Slack. Okay. Oh, cool. I'll watch it. Yeah. I, I have seen it. Either, but I can't believe he'd actually bring up the fact that the guy owed him $34. That's very crazy. Welcome, Al. That's horrible. I'm going to send it to you in Slack. Because I'm just going to send it to, every, uh, to Nicole and Sharon. Yeah. Hi, Elle. Oh, yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Did you see Hunter's speech? No, what, what, what was it? Oh, boy. What I'm did gonna, he say? I'm going to send, send it to you, too, okay? Yeah, send first. it to me, please. Yeah, and I want you to watch it on mute. Like, mute your thing I'm and watch it. Mute. It's only nine minutes. Okay, and Hunter is Kaylee's friend. Well, you would think it was Kaylee's friend, but he's Ethan's friend, too. But he doesn't even mention Kaylee in his speech at all, which is odd. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, send I'm, it to I'm sending it to you right now. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, everyone in chat. Who did I miss? I think I missed Hi. Two Scooter. Sharon, I sent it to Two Scooter. Could you send it to me too, please, Carol? Yes. Right okay. now. And I'll send it to Deborah too if she wants it. Let's send it to you, Scooter. Michael. And Deborah. Okay. All right. Okay, let me go over here. All right, so here I found, we'll see, they'll weigh in on what they think, okay? Because I think it's uh, very strange. So my take on why, why he wouldn't mention it, I think if it was just something that he had going on with her, unless there was something he thought she told her, her friends that she didn't like him if she was very vocal that she didn't like him but then why would they have come out just a few months earlier together but if something happened after that and she didn't like him or maybe parents knew something about it that's another possibility but I kind of think more it was a jealousy on a girl telling him not to mention it I don't know why I don't think he... I Carolyn I don't think I got it let me see. Is it in my Gmail box? Yeah, I just sent it to you. I didn't uh, get it. Really? Hold on. Let me do it again. Okay, I'm sending it again right now. There you Thanks. Go. You're welcome. So I just don't, I just think that something's wrong why wouldn't he mention so he mentioned zayna and ethan he didn't mention maddie okay maybe he didn't know her maybe he did how would he not know her if he was at those parties i don't know how he wouldn't know her even in passing enough to make a remark that that is very troubling for me because it signals that something's wrong now i'm not saying he did something I'm not saying his girlfriend did something. I'm saying it's signaling that there's something wrong there with those relationships. It's my opinion. And I'm entitled to it. So, sorry. But we'll see what everybody else says. I also think there were a lot of backhanded comments about uh, Ethan in there. You know, um, just that he's not good with money and the $34 and he's always asking to borrow money and... Um, just is that kind of stuff. There were some nice things, but there were also some not nice things. Anyway, um, he does mention Emily, his girlfriend. So I'm thinking there might be something going on there. I don't know. And that's troubling to me. But anyway. The other, we'll, we'll, we'll let the others weigh in on, um, on what they think. Can you maybe just summarize it for me? Because I'm not getting it. Just give me I a just, quick summary. I just sent it to you. Yeah, I'm not getting it. It has no subject in it. Just an email from me. Yeah, I'm not getting it. Let me try one more time. Here, I'll put it in the chat over here, okay? Right in the chat here. You see it in the chat here on Zoom? You said, I still think it is someone that knew them. Yeah, well, he, he does know them. I mean, but yeah, 
I think it's somebody that knew them as well. I don't think it's a, any random stranger at all. Hi, Nikki Mick. Nikki Mick, did you see that uh, Hunter Tribute thingy? Did you see that? No, I'm too dark in my hair. Did you see that? I'm wondering if she saw that. I know Kevin thought it was suspicious. No, you are you are you thinking of the other guy? I don't know who I'm thinking of. I think of. you're I'm thinking of the other guy. Maybe. Let me just yeah. go watch the one I gave you, please. Yeah, I'm watching it right now. Hi, Juanita. The um the memorial when Hunter Johnson, the guy with the longer hair that answers the door and the one that comes out with Kaylee in the noise disturbance, he gives a tribute speech at the memorial. And I think it's interesting. Like, it's crazy interesting. Like, you know. Lots to see there, right? Check it out. See what you think. Hi, Captain Lee. Hi, Linda Uribe. Hi, Sean Sneed. Hi, um, Kevin. Oh, I'm in top chat again. I'm in top chat again. That's not good. Hi, Hash. So who, um, I just find it crazy that he didn't mention Kaylee or Madison because I know that he knew Kaylee and he had to have known Madison because they were like two peas in a pod and he was there. He was even one of the ones that got Madison on the phone. Why would he not even mention them? That tells me that he was told not to by someone. That's just my opinion. My opinion very strange did you listen to it i did he kept going on about that 34 dollars. right and now i'm not going to get it like hoping someone was going to come out of the audience and say here man here's the 34 dollars." right yeah it was really weird that was weird yeah why would you do that I could see if he even said, yeah, I would buy him. But, but then he's also admitting he's buying um, alcohol for an underage person, which is interesting. And um, but it's just crazy. All right, go listen to it, Nick. I want to I, I just, I don't know. Kevin, did you listen to it? It's very odd. And he mentioned Zena a little bit, just about golfing and how the, how they would go back and go get balls because they would have more drinks in their bag than balls. But there's a lot of backhanded uh, compliments, if you will, to Ethan. I'll send you the clip, okay, Kevin? I'm going to send you the clip in Slack. Oh, boy. Okay, I watched it. What do you think? Well, the $34 was kind of a joke, like joking about round. Yeah, he never got paid back, but... Do you think it was I joking? Would... I'm picking up some... I'm picking up not joking, but okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm picking, picking up, up an undertone joking. to it. I'm picking up an undertone when he's talking about going to get him Bud Light with lime or right. whatever. Yeah. You know, no problem as long as you pay me mm -hmm. what you got from me two weeks ago or something like that. Right. And so, what about the yeah. fact that he doesn't mention Kaylee or Madison, who he definitely knew? They got Madison on the phone at the one noise disturbance. 
Right. He at least yeah, he knew didn't. them. Why would he not mention them? He never mentioned them. No. That's not odd. At all. That is extremely odd. That to me, and I'm sorry. It sounds like if he's still with that girl, she was jealous. It said, "You better not be oh. fawning over those two girls at that memorial." Did she understand? Like no longer with us. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, it's my opinion. I didn't say she said it. I'm saying that's what I'm picking up, that somebody or something, if it wasn't her that told him that, then he had some serious issues with them. With me. And maybe somebody would say, what are you doing that when you, when this, that, and the other thing happened with you and them? Yeah. So it's one of the two. Where was this memorial held? Where? Um, it was at the, uh, some church, living, some kind of church thing. Oh, all but, right. Yeah. Okay. On campus, near campus. No, it's Living Life Ministries or something like that. Um, let me see what it was. And it can't be just because of nerves, because he had his stuff wrote down, so he obviously had nothing wrote down about them. And how can you just forget to mention the four people that were killed? You only mentioned mm -hmm. two of them, and they were all together. It's ridiculous. Um... Do, do, do pastor from the Idaho church. Let's see, read a part. Uh, the service held Friday in Post Falls, Idaho. Real Life Ministries. Mm. Post Falls, Idaho. Okay. Do we have a profile of the killer yet? Hi, Jenny. <coughs> Anybody else on that? I have, I watched, I just watched it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was really strange because he was at the house with Zena. I mean, with- They got Madison on the phone. Yeah, and he was with- he Yeah, was and he with, was with uh, Kaylee, I know. At the house. So it, to me, it's one of two things. Either the girl he's with said, don't you dare mention them because she has an issue with them or he has an issue with them. But he was just with her. That was in the summer. That was in the summer, like. but who knows what happened between then? What if the girlfriend had a real issue with them? But I don't think it was anything him having to do with the murders because that would have been too obvious, him not mentioning them and him having something to do with the murders. He doesn't want people to think. I mean, he doesn't want to, you know, not mention them because he murdered them because then it would that would look too obvious and he would... You know? Yeah, it could, but it could also be something that there too many people know that there is an issue there. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, something's weird, very weird. How could I you just, forget to mention them? You can't forget to mention them. You wrote your stuff down. I don't. I think that that would be telling that he didn't commit the murders, though. I don't think he's involved in the murders. I'm not saying he is or is isn't. I'm saying there's something odd with that. It's odd. Yeah. It's odd. And what is with the money? Keep, keep mentioning the money. Yeah, it's a backhanded compliment on Ethan. A few things were the fact that he couldn't get into his fraternity, right? He made it sound yeah. like Ethan had to go down because he couldn't even make the cut for his fraternity. Right. For Hunter's fraternity, right? Oh, yeah, Ethan couldn't right. could get into Hunter's fraternity? Yeah. No. He had, to, he had to go. He had to settle for something else. That's mm -hmm. terrible. He made it. He see. He was. That's what I'm saying. He's got a real cocky attitude. There's a lot of backhanded compliments. Yeah. Sure that's compliments. really awful. That's awful to say at a memorial. And there were a few in there. There were a few digs in there. Yeah, I got some of them. Now, why are you digging somebody that's that's brutally murdered? Well, you're not in any competition with them, you know. That's his personality. He's probably always in competition. He's like sick. 
sickly the one competitive. Who, the one who was talking just mm-hmm. now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I caught the competitive part for sure. Absolutely. He was probably very jealous of Ethan because Ethan was such a good looking guy. So happy, good lucky. Everyone probably loved Ethan. And that guy has such a bad personality. No one probably really likes him. Ethan probably had way more friends than that guy. Yeah, he just seems like um, there's something, there's mm. a lot of undertones in there that I don't like. Doesn't mean that I'm saying he did this, but I'm saying that there's right. issues there. There's issues that he doesn't mention Madison and Kaylee. That's not like being yeah. at the Oscars and you forget to thank your wife. Right. Right, which is pretty bad, which is, which is pretty there. bad. But it's, uh, yes. it's two yeah. people you forgot now. Uh, that were brutally was, murdered. Two out of four people that are brutally murdered. You just had to remember four people. You had one job. Remember four people, and you forgot. He two. was up there. He was up there for a long time. And he I'm sure there. I'm sure their time. pictures were plastered all over the place. How could he not remember what he was there for? Now, did he know Maddie? Yeah, well, they got they got her on the phone for the officer. Remember him and that other guy. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So he's focused on Ethan and a little bit of Zeno. Yeah, but Nikki, he focused on um, Ethan, but not in a good way all the time. Pretty negative crap thrown in there. Um, yeah, and then how do you how do you forget Kaylee and Madison? Yeah, that's pretty hard to do, actually. Maybe he liked Kaylee and she rebuffed him. Maybe, but he was the one on the couch when Kaylee was talking to the But officer even so, the let's say let's say she did. You know, if it was just something like that with him and her, why wouldn't he mention it? Why wouldn't he maybe mention she, her? Maybe it hurt his ego. She hurt his ego. Maybe. Yeah, but he's friends. had a thing, and he if he's so careful, cares about his ego, he knows he's going to look like a bad guy remembering two or four people. But maybe he... I really, I have a very big feeling it's with the girl. I'm sorry. With the what? The girlfriend. Girls are catty. I can see her saying, what, let's just say, let's just say hypothetically, his girlfriend was jealous of Kaylee and Madison. Maybe she saw that, you know, whatever, that, oh, where the heck were you? You went outside with her? Maybe she was there when he went outside and she was looking for him. Whatever came about, well, let's just say she had a real distaste for it and it was really a hot button for her. And maybe, just maybe, she found out he could have done something. What if, what if he did something or had feelings for what, what or said something, found, she found a text. Who knows what it is? It would be a really big sore spot. And she might say, if you mention them, I'm telling you, you know, that we're through. Well, two um, things. Maybe. Hunter and his girlfriend broke up. And another thing, why would he be hanging out with Kaylee on that couch and everything if his girlfriend yeah. were against it? Yeah, he was hanging out with her. They That's must so have been broken he up. Hunt, but he didn't I mean, mention they her. When did they, they, were, when did, when did they break up? I don't know, but they, they're broken up. I know that. Maybe it because of something else. Maybe because of something else. Well, they're definitely broken up now because they were broken up before. So they're broken up now. How, but how do we, we don't, how do you know that? Because I read it. Where? On a, on a real source or just a, a video or something? I can't remember where. Hi, Dina. But why would someone lie about that? Like, that's not a big deal. They were, it was like a while ago, they said. Oh, well, I don't know how a while ago. I mean, I think the stories were geared towards the college crowd. Let me see if I can Google it. Wasn't that during the Yes, but she's there in the college crowd, Kaylee and Madison. Yeah. Well, I don't get it. 
Oh, you're saying that they're not backhanded compliments? I know. I don't. I don't care what crowd you're in. That. That's. No. You don't go there. If he was reading me that speech and say, "What do you think?" I'd say, "Get, get out of here with the thirty-four dollars." Right. You sound like a lunatic. You sound like you want somebody to give you the $34. It's terrible. Do you think that he could be on their short list? Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I don't know. I think a lot of people might be making their short list. I, I, think it's, I think it's crazy that he's talking about it like that. I'm not saying he did it or not, but I'm sure he's been questioned. And I just think that it's very telling he doesn't mention the two girls at all. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder. I wonder. Was he invited to speak or were people told if you'd like to speak? See, we don't know that. I, I suppose he spoke about who he knew the best, but but still, if he, if he was always at the house. Well, right, he knew them all. Yeah, and but still, you, I mean, yeah, I don't care. Like he could say that, and then he could say, and of course, I didn't know them as well. Let's say he didn't know them as well. I didn't know them. I never got the chance to know them as well as I would have ever but liked. Very, that was cut short. He could have said anything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it it seems callous to leave them out yeah it's <laughs> ridiculous i wonder if he's on their list he might be on my list if i were watching that mm -hmm. say hey what's up with this character and he was not mm, Poised, um, not, he didn't look up. I don't know, maybe he doesn't have any speaking in public experience, but. I don't know, I don't know what to make of him. Yeah, I just find stuff that was crazy with him. No, I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I think I it's think peculiar, that's for sure. Okay, I just watched it. Yeah, what'd you think? I don't like how he, I'm not saying he's, you know, right. whatever, but I don't like how he was going like this. Like, did you notice he was gritting his, kept his, kept his yeah, yeah. Uh, clench, clenched when he was talking about how the the $34 and then always oh, bringing his beer in a garbage bag. Mm. He was like, yeah, you know, it right. was. Right. And, and what about the fact that he doesn't even mention Kaylee or Madison? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and like it, Sharon says, maybe he didn't know weird. them that well, but he did. They got Madison, but even if he didn't know them that well, he knew them. He could have said, have you know, I'm very sorry for that loss. I was just getting to know them, or I never got the chance to fully know the right. beautiful people are, they were. I mean, the guy's a university student, yeah. for God's sake. You should be able to write <sighs> something You know, their simple. lives were cut short before I had the opportunity to really become close friends with them. I'm thinking that it was the girlfriend that something was, happened, and she said, you better not mention those girls after what you did what Medic do you mean what do you wait what okay. he had a girlfriend hunter hunter had a girlfriend named emily okay yeah i, I was okay trying to figure out what you were saying so i'm that. trying to figure out why he wouldn't have mentioned those girlfriends and i only get two things that come to mind the two things that come to mind is maybe he got in trouble by the girlfriend what are you doing looking at those girls? What are you doing? You, you were, let's say, what if something even happened between them? What if, what if he Ooh. went out with one of them? What if he cheated on her with one of them? What if he cheated on her with both of them? What, what if the girl thought she was cheating on her with them? What if she thought he was attracted to them and it was a real like, sore spot? Ooh. And she said, if you're going to make a speech, you better not mention those girls. Because I'll go, you're, we're, we're done if you do that. Maybe. Could be if she Maybe. was jealous. Now, what if something, okay, what if the worst happened? What if something happened and the girlfriend said, get rid of them? Something happened. I don't know. And then he can't even mention them because of something that happened. I don't know. It's very odd. I'm sorry. Maybe his present the way he was presenting himself and what how he was saying it there was a lot of uh, type you know id.us hmm? what else no she was playing. i'm trying to find where i read that hunter and his girlfriend broke up what's hunter's last name johnson i i think what about, I, Barb, what about him not mentioning Kaylee or Madison? I'll just Google and see what I can I find. I find that very, uh, how would you not mention them? Hunter Johnson, Hunter Johnson. You're, 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 yes, you're at a memorial. Their pictures are all around you. How could you forget to mention either one of them? Yeah. That is. You can't even see at the wild. end, uh, Ethan, Zena, Hunter, uh, Ethan, Zane. oh my gosh. Zena, Madison, and Kaylee, I, I'm going to miss you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, fly yeah. high, something like that. You wouldn't exactly. say anything to all four people that were killed? Well, you would think. You would he, think you would, he could have at the very end certainly have said that. You know. He may have just been thinking about too them. Too young. It was too soon. Yeah. yeah how how could high. you just not right. mention them? Come on. Yeah. It is strange. Yeah. He should have. I agree. Something's up with that. I don't know. But, uh, I feel yeah, something's up with that. Something I do. Right. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. You're right. I. But it could be that he just be nervous up there talking. He had a paper. He had a he paper. Was he was reading off a paper, so it's not like he was talking, speaking from memories. He like if he did that speech down. to me, I'd say, like, get off, the, get the $34 out of there, and where's the thing? What, you're not going to even mention Madison or Kaylee? Right. Yeah. I mean, if they, if, 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 say, Mike, my husband, was writing something like that and said, What do you think of this? I would have said, Okay, eliminate that. Meant, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he should have mentioned him, Barb. I agree. It's odd. It's odd. So it just doesn't can't... sit right. It doesn't sit right with me. I know. I hear what you're saying, but it speaks of uh, it's, it's a good. Th I know it's a thought. I notice what you're saying. Were there other speakers? Mm -hmm. well, I'm sure there were. Did they mention all four people? Hi, Dina. But you can it's for Ryan. You know that's my last name, correct? My maiden name for Ryan. Not maiden name. What am I saying? 
my first husband's name. That's my grandson Isaiah's last name, Orion. Okay, now you're doxing yourself fully here on the channel. I don't care. That's fine. Okay. Just saying. It's fine. All right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I don't care. But yeah, I, I don't, it just rubs me the wrong way. I don't know. I just get a feeling and I'm going to mm. go with my gut on this. Yeah. Mm. Hey, you just never know, Carolyn. You don't. Well, yeah, exactly. And how do you know that, mm, that, that, you know, I wanted to know him a long time. I knew I knew when I met him, I knew I wanted to know him a long time. Who says that? I know. Well, I if, know that Chris if is you think my it nephew's seems odd. You know, at my nephew's uh, funeral that was a year ago. Um, I know a lot of people told funny stories about him. You yeah, know, funny oh, yeah. stories, but oh, this, it just seemed to but slam him. this guy him. just seemed, he seemed weird. He was full, Unless no, this funny. guy was full of himself. Was That's what there was a problem. He's not just a funny story. He was um, full of himself. Um, yeah, I agree. Well, when he said he was an athlete, then kind of shrugged and said sort of. Yeah, like, yeah, like, I mean, uh, one of our race friends like came that. to his funeral and uh, to the wake and told a funny story about when they were slide. He's like, we once went down the uh, the uh, hill down here at Backley down to the rest. He's like, we were sliding. We were turning <clears throat> around. He goes, and Ray just goes like this. Hold it. And he goes, you okay, man? When I came to a stop. And like, it was a funny story. But he didn't say, like, uh, it would be different if he went like this. Whoa. Wow, you know, I, I don't know, just like just something that dug him, mean, like, yeah. oh wow, he was the worst driver ever. Like, you know, if we would have been driving in my thing, we wouldn't exactly. even slip. Like, it, it's just, it's like a, sl I don't know, it's just slammy. I don't know, it's not funny. It, it it's was not... kind of slammy. Yeah. It was. Okay, I found it, and I got some tidbits. Okay. Oh. But what's the source? I mean, is it like a real news source, or is it? It's Ted Bauer. Oh. From December twenty fourth. Yeah. Mm. Who's Ted Bauer? <laughs> Want me to read it to you? Um, no. no, just send it. Can you send it to Al, me? is that hillbilly in the picture with you? No. That's my boyfriend. No. <laughs> no, it's not hillbilly. Silly mood. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Let me try to send it to you, Carol. I'm going to try. I hate this. <laughs> there wouldn't be anything wrong if it was. Yeah, because I think he's just, uh, I don't know how trusted this guy is as a news source. Who is he? He's just, isn't he just he like a... Aiken's Perrine thinks you're making too much of those kids that they're all heartbroken, that they are all broken. I'm not sure how to spend this. Time. This is so hard for me. Um, I don't think I am. I think I'm, I'm saying that there's some things I'm picking up on there. And I and I think that I'm not saying anything that probably a lot of people aren't thinking. Is it? Can I just read it? It's not that long. Yeah, yeah but I don't know the the source is not. I don't think it's a trusted source. I, I think it's a very. Um, isn't it just like a blogger? Well, before I read it, you could just say you don't you don't like you don't agree with. Yeah, this go, site. go ahead. It's, yeah, go ahead. Okay, here's what we kind of know from the internet, kind Emily. Of. Aladent, who apparently lived, she lived at that house. His ex-girlfriend lived at that house. Not at then, but not at that time. Before. The year before, and mm -hmm. was friends with definitely Zana and definitely Dylan, and possibly some of the others for a while at least. Dating this dude, Hunter Johnson. I believe that's him in the pic above, blah, 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 blah. So there's pictures of them. She was on the Boise state softball team blah 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 body cam footage Oops. that's there here's jonathan lee richard's video talking about oh wait wait that. wait say no 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 we can't we can't Sorry. mention yeah that guy okay that guy is that guy oh, is just that guy is just had, bull this horns. isn't from yeah, him trust i know but we, we don't want to mention that see i don't want to mention that that's why i wanted to look at the article yeah, he's okay, he just email. he just has a video talk. Yeah, but I know, but we don't want to even mention it because there's not good things. Okay, yeah. it's another one that's on Chris Watts' side. Mm. Ugh. Yeah. Ooh, really, oh, no. really? <laughs> he was behind that that freakish channel that played the uh, 
jail recordings. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's it's why I really want to see. I just why I don't want I do not want to promote any of those people. Okay, 10 weeks or so before the murders, a blonde woman answered the door and the collective internet speculations was that it was Bethany Funk, one of the surviving roommates. Now high minds think it was Emily. Um Okay. Emily lived there a year before at this 9-1 party was her 21st birthday bash. So they think that party that got busted was her her birthday bash. Um, let's see. Hunter is all the guy who also comes back to the door in the at, at that party at the body cam. Oh, at the party where that we saw last night when they go to first to the guy's house and then to Kaylee's house at that party, he's the guy who comes back to the door. Yeah, that's at the north. That's at the nine one. Okay, September first. Um, Hunter looks like a typical college derp for most of the stuff I've seen. Drink ball out with friends, all stupid stuff. Kaylee came out of the house with just him. It could be pretty simple, but it could be something else. That's so weird. This isn't the article that I just read. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a different article. That's so crazy. Yeah. Wait, but, see, but this is this, this, is this is not a new, I mean, this is their speculation and that's fine. They can have whatever, but I, I mean. We can speculate till the cows come home. It's not fact. That's not it. Right. That's you know, not, tell it was me a better when they one. broke up, when they, yeah, they don't, they can't tell me that. So it um, was a much better, a much better article. Mm-hmm. It said that she lived at the house and that they it's, they said was her boyfriend. And it said um, that, what else did it say? I can't remember. My memory is so bad. <sighs> that he was good friends with Ethan. And something else that I can't remember, but it was it was. Um, yeah, this is just um, this guy. Who knows who the heck he is? He's just on uh, Medium, and anybody can write for Medium. So he could be Joe Blow, you know. Oh, it's the guy who just who I just watched him give the speech at the memorial. The same guy who was at the door. Yep. Okay, and and he just kind of motioned like, well, I don't live over there or something oh, and, and then you know said he, he said? doesn't know who li- he said he didn't know who lived at that house when he was with kaylee two weeks earlier you know what the article said it said oh. that it said that jack had a relationship with with his girlfriend and hunter had a relationship with kaylee and that jack was so angry about it and what? so was hunter where it said that fighting? at one time Wait, where, kaylee- where 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 in this article. But see, I, I could write find. that article. I, you see, there's no source. I could write an article for Median or my own blog and put that down. Like, hey, guys, you know, but see, where's my source? Anybody can make up anything. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to find Instead this. of me saying, like, Ooh. I'm thinking that something's going on. I, I go and write an article that says, oh, yeah, listen, guys, this is some big news, blah, 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 blah. But where are my sources? Let me try. Right. To, let me try to find it. Uh. I think he definitely barbed awkward. He tried to come across as funny. He came across as awkward. Exactly. I mean, he was trying to be funny. It was not working. <sighs> I probably wouldn't have thought anything about it, Caroline, and to you said something, and I'm looking for it. I wonder what his major is. Oh, okay. It's sports. from this article. It's, in sports. it's from this article. I found it from Ted. Yeah, but see, that's that's he's not a source though. What did, where does he get this information? Does he tell you where he gets this from? Or tell you his sources at the bottom of the article does he even say that this is an interview the person wanted to be anonymous does he even go that far like where is he getting this from 
Let me see. Reddit? Is that weird three initial guy? No. Let me see where he got it from. Carolyn? No. And I never knew that of him, by the way. I just knew about all those lawsuits and he's so strange. Salacious. It says so, oh, Oakham's razor. Occam's no, that razor. Uh, that's just that's the theory that what you know the simplest solution is probably is the, the right answer. one. Right. Yeah. And then it says salacious colon Hunter and Kaylee. Salacious just means you know it's juicy. It's it's uh, mm -hmm. it's you know it's just gossip. It could be salacious mm -hmm. gossip. You and know. It says uh, Hunter and Kaylee had a thing on the side. Which angered both Emily and but where, Jackson. Where, where, what is his source? How does he know that? Does he say after that says blah, blah, blah. This information person. was gathered from an anonymous source. They gave me an interview. Where is that coming from? His own thing by, you know, I mean, come on. Is that a speculation? What is it? It just says Ted Bauer. Yeah could say Ted Liar. Uh, I, you know, I mean, it's just, everybody's out there just to say things without backing it up with anything. Okay, New York City boy in Texas right now, writing about work, management, leadership, friendships, relationship, and just general life. But see, he's writing for Medium. Anybody can submit anything there and it'll be published. That's, it's, it's just for freelance writers of any skill, of any, that's it. Just put an article in there. Oh. That's all he did. He didn't list any that's, sources. New York City boy. Where, where does he get this information from, New York City boy? How can he just print anything, though? Oh, they they can. can do anything they want. They'll say, can they they can just say, no, it was my opinion. I'm sorry you didn't gather that. Can he get sued? His opinion. Sure. What? His opinion, he'll say. This is my opinion. It says about the noise complaint and the woman answering the door and it tells about that day that you said um, he's you said he's a New York City boy. He says here is Fort Worth on another forum um, writes on medium a bunch, typically just thinking about no, stuff, maybe too much. No, this is his profile on one of them. No, it says New York City boy. Down no, I, I know. But this is his profile on, an, on another site, which is what I'm telling you. Yeah. New York City boy down in Texas. Okay, but I'm just saying, yeah. Okay. All right. And it looks like uh, one of his Twitters was closed down. I don't know how they can write this stuff if it's not true. Oh, boy. Yeah. You sound like me, y'all. Day boys makes fun of me. It's and weird. And when we Christmas. weren't together long, he always says... Because I said can't, something about, well, they can't show can't that on there if it's not true. Can't think it's what sued? are you talking about? I mean, they say it's their opinion, but it looks like fact. So can't it, he doesn't say, in my opinion. He doesn't say, I feel. Yeah, you don't have to. He, he says it like fact. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you can say that. Talk to an attorney. You can say that. You can say, if you're on the hair, you can say somebody's on mentally ill. And you don't have to say, I think or anything it's still a matter of opinion in my opinion you don't even have no, to say that. say that i know yeah he's like here's what we know he's and they're going to say who's we him and his wife him and his partner him and his neighbor okay gotcha that's the problem because even I always say, apparently, or in my opinion. Mm -hmm. well, he course, didn't say where he gathers this information at all. Who don't. That They're girl is getting sued. Stuff. That girl is getting sued for doing that thing about the... Let's see how far uh -huh. it goes. Let's see how far it goes. Seriously. Oh. Let's see how far it goes. Okay. All right. Well, I thought this was interesting. I thought it was real. Well, I mean, I know. Yeah, I know. It's, sure it's, it's, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. There's yeah, so they trick you. you. They trick you well. Yeah. They do. 
Right. They want to. It's what they do. That's how they get you to believe this, and and they buy it. You know what you buy into it, and you just mm-hmm. watch, and they you know. Is meow dot com reliable? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okie dokie. <laughs> Yeah, that's you know. well, meow is full of speculation. So is 4chan. So is Reddit. It's uh, yeah. it's unfortunate that they've done this to yeah. uh, information, getting information and getting accurate information. It used to be that there was some integrity, but these guys are probably paid to produce something. Or he just flat out produced it just in order to get some money because they don't do it out of the kindness of their hearts. Really? So, yeah. I'm sure they don't. Yeah. I just, it's a shame that they could put this information out if it's not true. Oh, yeah, I agree. What a shame. Mm hmm. Wow. But, you know, somewhere, you know, if he gets called out for putting out, you know, information that wasn't factual or that wasn't sourced or what have you, the odds of him admitting to it or, you know, doing a retraction or anything like that will be slim and none. It's not going to huh. happen. Wow. Weird to me. Yeah, I'm. Never heard about of I didn't know people did that. that. Yeah, they do. Shouldn't, but they do. About how the, Nick, Nick says, um, anyone concerned how police have accessed the murder scene without adhering to wearing PPE and contaminating the crime scene? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, but... uh, Well, we've seen that many times. And some opinions have to be based on something. You can't form an opinion without a basis to it. Right, Barb, yep. Many a crime scene has been ruined because of not following protocol. Right, or or certain evidence is is thrown out Mm -hmm. because of because things protocol. that were done, yeah, that yeah. that is could be key evidence in a case, and it's thrown out mm-hmm. because of what somebody did. The way it was obtained. Mm-hmm. There's all kinds of different. Yeah, sometimes even a confession. They they lose a confession mm-hmm. because, oh my gosh, right. I forgot to read the Miranda rights, or oh my yep. gosh, I, you know, so it's gone. Bye. Mm-hmm. And you can't use it against them in a court of law. Because it was your mistake, not there. <laughs> yeah, I took a spaceship, Liza. Took a spaceship. Magic car. I took a magic carpet. Yeah. Hi, Janae. Hi. Hi. What's up? I have a couple opinions on this. Okay. Right. Now, um, where I'm starting from is a profile not even naming names but just what type of person and what their psychology would be like okay okay and i've watched a few shows where different profilers have given their opinions and i've kind of woven them together so I'm going to tell you what they're kind of saying about what type of person they think it is. And they think it was a person that was on the outside of the group but wanted in. And that he's rather full of himself, probably had money in his family is entitled he didn't want to be left away from the group he wanted in that group in the worst way 
He had like his reputation writing on it. He would feel a great deal of shame if he did not get in that group. Um, he either had one of those girls for a little bit. Kaylee, I guess, is the main one they're talking about. And maybe he was close to getting her and lost her, but his peers are looking at him and he's very worried about his peers and his reputation and what they would think if he completely got shut down by this girl. Mm -hmm. um, and so the theory then turns into revenge because he could not get what he wanted um, no matter his best efforts. And so he took matters into his own hands and it was rageful. Um, they didn't say so much about alcohol or drug related, but that could have of course been in there too, since they're young people and um, this guy was immature. He did not have good decision-making abilities. Um, just made a lot of wrong decisions in his life and along the way, trying to get in with this group. These these were the uh, the people that were beautiful. They had a lot going for them in school. They were on their way up. Um, he felt he himself should be in such a group because that that's describing him. He, sh he should be right along with them. Yet he wasn't accepted and he wasn't able to, to get in there and work his way in there. He was kept out of it. So it turned into a terrible, rageful thing. Um, and he wanted revenge. Now, does that tick any of your boxes, Carolyn? Mm-hmm, yeah. It does. Okay. I, I mean... Oh, I just... That's, that's kind of where they're starting, you know, without even a name, without even an individual. First, let's get a, a profile of who could possibly do such a thing as this? What would be their motivation? And, you know, I think the FBI utilizes profiles quite a bit. Um, and I thought this one kind of fit. Now, I remember a case, and maybe you do, Caroline, his name was George... Beardsley and he was a young college guy and long story short he ended up murdering his girlfriend her name was Yardley mm -hmm. I can't remember her last name right off the bat but he was a uh, he was a rich kid and he was in a uh, college or a boarding school and he was a star lacrosse player he was like the captain of the lacrosse team and he had a girlfriend who played in a similar position on the women's team well they had a volatile relationship they just didn't seem to get it together they kind of wanted to be together because they were both the beautiful people and they were both, you know, kind of athletic stars. But they also had a, a lot of other, op other options in their life. And um, Yardley went, wasn't real serious about George. And she went out of town for a game and she ended up getting mixed up and ended up sleeping with another guy on another lacrosse team. And so she came home from that trip 
and he found out about it. And even though they weren't hot and heavy at the time, Mm -hmm. she humiliated him. And he he went over to her house, like, after he got done at the bars that that night, like at 2 in the morning, and uh, on the premise to talk to her. And... Of course, it went way beyond talking. Mm. Um, She kept saying, no, no, I don't want to talk. Get out of here. And so he'd shake her and he'd say, well, you're going to listen to me. And then he remembered, well, maybe her head. What? Huh? What, Sharon? I didn't say anything. Oh, it sounded like you did. I'm sorry. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. And and he said, maybe her head got hit up against the wall a few times when I was trying to get her to listen to me. Mm. You know, that that just wasn't cool what she did. Nice. And I wanted to talk about it because, you know, how is he going to look with his entire team and with all the guys and in the locker room and, you know, mm-hmm. his reputation was going to be shot. And at this age, you care so much what your peers think. And your peers have so much power over you. <laughs> yeah, so that that is one theory. Um, it, it, it just reminded me of the George Beardley case. He's in prison now. He did get convicted of killing her um, with this conversation that got out of hand um <coughs> Carolyn where'd you go I'm right here Scooter yeah her head what might have hit the wall a few times unbelievable right what Sharon you know just like 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 Janae is saying there you know well yeah her head got hit a few times against the wall I was trying to get her to listen to me yeah uh, yeah. yeah, she yeah. wouldn't listen. She just kept saying, go away, go away. I don't want to talk about it. You know, and, and it really made me mad because she wouldn't listen. I just said, no, Yardy, we're going to talk about it. Well, he was drunk for one thing, and he was a big, huge guy. And she was a petite girl, so it was very lopsided. That popped up in my feed, uh, Jan- Janae, that Beardley, whatever. I haven't watched it, but that did pop up in my uh, news feed, you know, here on YouTube. Yeah. So I'll have to check that out. It's it's a very interesting story. It's, um, it really does make you understand the pressure that these young people are on. They have um, reputations in the school, you know, with the coaches. Everybody know what's going on with everyone else's girlfriends. And, you know, if your girlfriend sleeps with another lacrosse guy at another school, you know, that's going to be totally so embarrassing because it's a rival to your school it's out of town you know you it was completely sneaky behind your back he would say you know and uh when they brought him in for questioning he uh they believed that he didn't actually know that she was dead that um she finally just he he just thought she just got real tired and passed out or whatever and she wasn't going to talk about it anymore so he kind of just picked her up off the floor and threw her on the bed well she stayed alive for two or three hours so if he would have called for help she probably would have made it but he didn't really understand what kind of condition she was in Wow, so I'm going to have to check that out. 
very interesting story because his father owned a very important business. Um, he came from money. They paid a lot of tuition to go to the school. And um, he was entitled, you know, never thought anything bad like this was going to happen to him. He, he had a future all laid out for himself. And then this happened, and he kind of just went right down the tube, so to speak, with mm -hmm. his mental health being humiliated in in front of his peers because they all knew what was going on. Um, he got into her her house. He came in through the front door. Must have been unlocked. But then she had her bedroom door locked. Right. And he ended up kicking in a hole in the door, and then he could reach his arm in and unlock the door. So she was really trying to stay away from him and did not want to talk to him. And then it came out that one of the peers said, you know what, um, I came in the house one time and he had his arm around her neck and he was like choking her. So it looked like some domestic violence had gone on previously. Wow. Yeah, so he's in prison. He is in prison, but this was the age group, was about the same age group as, as these four kids. And, you know, feelings run real deep. If you think you're going to be humiliated in front of your peer group and you're not very mature and you don't have very many skills to handle that, you don't feel like, a support system there you feel like there's a system there that's just gonna laugh at you and you know just think you're the worst ever it's good. you're gonna lose your reputation that you thought was pretty cool right mm. yeah. so <clears throat> okay. yeah Yardley and her murderer were broken up at the time um, I think he went to the boys school and she went to the girls school and this just happened in 2012 Rhonda Blackburn has got some info about it too oh. oh Rhonda watched that video last week so did I <clears throat> and it just got me thinking about this case too mm -hmm. how Similar, you know, I don't know if this, you know, how many exact circumstances are similar, but the feelings and the rage and feeling uh, your, your, your life is just over, your reputation's ruined. Right. How are you even going to show your face and... Right, and sometimes things like that escalate, and they aren't the end of the world, and people do something drastic, and um, they, they could be taking their own life over something. Uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. so that's just, I, I was listening to um, two or three different pro, profilers and just kind of put it together they all said something very similar like that and I was just waiting for a profiler to come out because sometimes I think that's even more important than just fingering an individual person and trying to connect them to the case because right. you have to find their motivation and you have to find what makes them tick yeah um to begin well right yeah and I so, mean, not a, especially something as um just the way they were all killed and the way in which they were it's just not to me it's just not some random serial killer coming in there yeah 
It's very personal. That's, that's hard to believe it'd be a random serial killer. It yeah. is. It, it is. I agree. But they didn't feel that he was like on the inside track with these kids. That they felt he was a little on the outside. Not a wannabe. He was a wannabe. Oh, That's goodness. right. He wanted in there and he could not understand why wasn't he in that cool group. Right. With these beautiful girls. Yep. So I just thought I'd put that two cents in and and see if um that added anything to the conversation yeah no it did thank you thanks for huh? thanks for weighing in on that and um i don't know so i just wish they you know find the person or people and I think they do have an idea, and I hope they can make an arrest and get justice and get this wrapped up because it's leaving a lot of people all frustrated and confused and scared. Oh, horrible. Yeah, and then, you know, the, the, the school's going to start up again, and yeah, all of that. They're going to lose a lot of students if this person isn't found because mm -hmm. nobody's going to want to stay there. No, it's just too scary. I know. Hmm. Yeah, there's several people in your chat, Carolyn, that know about that George Beardsley case. Um, Tracy Whittington is saying mm -hmm. George cracked her skull and her facial bones were fractured. She died in her own blood. Uh, the whole place, the whole thing uh, took place in her bedroom, you know, where she was supposed to be safe. He broke in there. And he was a big guy, too. Well, just like these kids, they thought they were safe, plus they had four people there. I mean, six people in the house. They probably never thought anything could happen to them. Yes. Good point. Yeah. Who would think that? Like, who would ever think that somebody would come in and kill four of them? So yeah. Or would come in where there were six people and commit murder? Especially um, when there were a couple guys there, you know, oh, the guys will be able to stop them. But yeah. the rage, I think, was so intense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why it was so personal, I think, and not a serial killer. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's how I feel as well. Me too. But then I, and then I keep going back to that Jack, the ex, and then I think, but if it was him, they would have had him by now, wouldn't they? In my opinion, no, because I think they want a total conviction. I think his DNA would be there anyway. So I think it's going to be hard to prove that his DNA was in there um, as the killer, in my opinion, when his DNA could have been in there as a regular visitor of the house, in my opinion. Yeah. And also, and also all over Kay Kaylee because he was dating her, in my opinion. So it's going to be harder a harder way to prove, a harder case to prove, um, allegedly, because he um, was all over her in the house, allegedly. Yeah, true. So if they have to make sure they have enough evidence, enough proof, to get a conviction, not just an arrest, in my right. opinion. Yeah. And it's gonna be tough, mm -hmm. I think. What does everybody else think? I don't know. Do oh, they I agree? agree? Yeah, I does agree. everybody agree with that? Yeah, I agree. It'll be, you know, they want to make sure that it's not gonna be so hard to convict whoever. Right. Hi, Dino. What do you think, Carolyn? Do you think that's true? That it's going to be hard to get a conviction? 
be- because of the circumstances? I don't know. It depends on what kind of evidence they have, you know. Hopefully they have some good DNA evidence. Um, but even yeah. if they have DNA, uh, allegedly he's been around. Uh, if, he, if, if it is him, allegedly, he's been around the house. He's been around Kaylee. He's been around the dog. He could always say that he's just been around all that. Well, hopefully they find something on, you know, his computer or search he did or some camera that caught him, you know, if it is him or whoever it is, you know. But there were no cameras. But but sometimes they can say, well, okay, we can tell his DNA is mixed with her DNA because his DNA is inside her shirt or he's got blood droppings but if, you know. it, if it happens to be allegedly jd then um he'll say our dna is mixed because we were together and it's still there even after two weeks is not a long time you know we were just together we just had sex perhaps he didn't have sex with all of them no that's true that's very true. Okay. I've always thought it's been very, very difficult to murder someone and not leave a hair or some kind of DNA, some kind of fabrics from your clothes or some blood droppings. But it doesn't it, look like he left any blood because there was, you see, this is how I feel. I feel like there was TV cameras out there 24 seven. And if anyone had mm-hmm. been out picking up footprints or picking up blood drops or looking, they would have got that on camera. And that was not on camera. No one trying to pick up the footprints, trying to pick up blood or anything like that. There was no one outside getting any trace evidence at all because no one got it on camera. And there were cameras there 24 seven. Well, it wouldn't necessarily been just outside either. There, they probably had a lot of plastic bags and scraped up a lot of blood, a lot of fibers from inside the place too. This guy could have um, been covered. Oh, had drop cloths down. He could have. You're right about that. You were right about that. That's what I'm thinking. Whoever it was had gloves on. They had a mask, hairnet, yeah. very well covered, booties. Yeah. That's how I keep seeing it. Almost like it's in good. a hazmat suit type, you Me know. Too. I mean, I know it wasn't that fit. But I don't know. Who watched knows? None of us know. Was, was very careful with computer searches. I don't think he would be dumb enough. Anyone would be dumb enough to use a computer now and search nowadays. They know that's the first thing they go for. It's just amazing that someone could come in, slaughter four people, and have two other people that they leave alive in the home. And they go out, they're gone, and so far, as far as we know, there's not a trace of anything. Well, I, no. have, a theory, I have a theory why they left the two alive. It's because it, it's sorry. It's because it's because they they had their two rooms were on either side of the hall. It was like their two rooms were separated by a long hallway. And if he had killed one of them, the other one would have heard the screaming and had had plenty of time to call nine one one before he got to the other room. Oh, did you anybody see talking about how it was supposedly so hard to hear in that house, which is what I thought too. Yeah. It was on, I believe, News Nation or was it News Nation or CNN? Because I, I for law and crime. Anyway, there was an interview of a, a guy that lived in that house. Did anybody see that? Yes. Oh, okay. And where he said um, that that was always a party house. People, people um, oh, yeah. up, not knowing who lived there now, or thinking 
someone that they knew still lived there. He's like, and that was an old house. So any creek or anything like that, you heard it. He's like, you could hear everything in there. So I thought that was really weird. No, I wouldn't call that an old house. It doesn't look like an old house. Well, this guy said it was. Yeah. Right. So you guys heard that? Yeah, but yep. I, yeah, and I also heard the opposite too. I mean, there's so much out there. Yep, I heard that. Well, yeah, I kept hearing the whole time, you know, you couldn't hear anything, you know, because of the way the house is built and. Uh-huh. That's yeah. the first time they heard that. And you know, law enforcement isn't giving us their best stuff. We're oh, no. left to, with the bits and pieces that are left over. Trying to make sense. I just hope it's not going to turn into a cold case. <laughs> you okay, Al? <coughs> Wrong pipe. Wrong pipe. But okay. what I don't understand is how one tenant could say you could hear nothing and the other tenant could say you could hear everything. It doesn't make any sense. Nothing in this case makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Opposites. Nothing makes sense. I know. Very Every difficult. Everything Another so thing weird. I thought of, but I know this cannot be true. It just can't be. But I was, it was just my own thought. What if whoever committed this murder went to the two survivors because the two survivors saw what was happening and they were petrified there hiding in a corner or whatever. And what if he uh, threatened them and maybe just for his own thrill or something like that, you know, said, you know, if you open your mouth, you say a word, you know, you'll be next. They weren't in the same room though. They were in separate rooms on either side of the hallway. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I wonder well, see, if this person I, I, would be able to terrify them that much that they're not going to say a word to anyone. That's another thing, though. They were on either side of the hallway. One of them probably heard something. But but that other room looks like nobody was in that. They both couldn't have been. I don't think that. Look and remember the room had just had golf clubs in it. Maybe there were three rooms downstairs. No, I don't think there were t there were two bedrooms on each floor, I believe. Well, well Matthew's father or Kaylee's father said both the girls were downstairs, the survivors. They were on the yeah. main floor, the bottom floor when it happened. Yeah. I don't know that he said that. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. Okay, but how does he know? Everyone's saying that they were both downstairs. I know that everybody's everybody. saying everybody was saying that, but... You know, everybody's yeah. saying they That's were saying that. Said the father or the son, you know, when they did that interview with the daughter, the son, and the father. Because that was the whole thing. They were downstairs and neither of them heard anything. That was the whole thing that everyone's saying, that they're saying, that everyone's saying. Mm -hmm. That it's the fact that they were both downstairs and they didn't hear anything. Maybe she had just moved her bed in. Maybe she was sleeping somewhere else. That's, maybe she was sleep. I think there was something about her sleeping on the second floor. Yeah. And then moving. Maybe, I don't know. I mean. That would have been weird if she hadn't, if she was on the second floor then I don't know how they, how that would have worked out. Uh, Allie Cattail says, old house or not, people sleep with AirPods, headphones, earplugs, oh, yeah. Yeah. air purifiers, humidifiers, fans, TV. Noise yeah. machines. Yep. We sleep with a fan. David but they heard the it. water running. Who heard the water running? 
Who said they heard water running? I never heard that. No, I never heard that. Yeah, so one of them heard water running. How could they hear water running and not hear blood curling screams? We don't know that they had blood curling screams. Was well, that a you, you yeah. can just sound machines that have um ocean sounds or like a brook running or something like that. Is that what that you is, mean? Zana's father said she fought for her life. Right, but she, that doesn't mean that she was screaming. What if he had his hand over her mouth? She could still fight back. We don't know so that she was screaming. Yeah, we don't know. True. He could have gagged her too. They don't want to give all the details out. And I don't want to, I don't think they want to be completely straight with us. I, want, I think they want to keep details from us that only the killer would know. Correct. That's I just thing. wish they would give out a profile because even on a lot of big murders, you know, big murder cases, they'll say, you know, this is probably a guy. Well, they did say that, Janae. They did. Oh, they did? Yeah. I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. I didn't. What'd they say? They said that he was a, that they, they're looking for a male. And then they gave, like, between the ages of 21 and 25, maybe, or 27. Really? I didn't Something hear like that. that. Yeah, that, that? that's... I didn't did. either. I heard that early, yeah. Yeah. It fit everyone's description at the suspect. <laughs> Did they get into any of the psychological aspects of this guy? No. Okay. They don't know. Like, they don't know if it's a serial killer, if it's someone that they, they just know. See, I try to go from what they said at the beginning. Right at the very beginning, I go by crime of passion, targeted. Targeted. That's what I keep thinking. They said targeted, right? Yeah. From the very start. They said crime of passion, Targeted, filled with rage. They said okay. that. I didn't hear that. They did. All right. That's yeah, some that, of the things I said, Dan. They said that for a reason. That was their first impression, the impression that they got when they first looked at it. A fresh Crime look. Of passion, rage, targeted. Serial killers don't do crimes of passion. It's not yeah, a serial I killer. I wouldn't think so. This is right. more personal. It sounds yes. more personal. I believe that. In my heart, that's what I believe. And it's it's overkill. So it sounds it sounds like revenge to me. Like, boy, I'm really gonna go in there and I am gonna get my revenge. Yeah. And if Zana's father said she fought for her life. Wouldn't you think the killer would have some markings on him? Yes and no. Well, I think at the point that, Z I think Dana was last. I think she was the last to die. And I think he must have been getting tired at that point. And Zana thought that she had a chance. Because he was like, maybe not as virile by the time he got to her. Yeah, he could have been getting tired. Jeez. And he didn't he wasn't prepared to kill four people, perhaps. I don't think he went in there to kill four people. Yeah, I kinda don't either because that is so off the wall. Right? People don't want to take on four people. I know. It's true, too. Even time constraints, getting caught. It's high risk. You might get hurt. One right. of them might incapacitate you. Two of them might gang up on you. What if get someone the weapon had a gun? Away. What, how did they know someone didn't have a gun? See, they must have known them. They must have mm -hmm. known them been close to them, knew no one had a gun.
if somebody would have had time to pull a gun out, if someone knew what was going on upstairs on the second floor, they could have gotten a gun and just blew their head off. Yeah, if only, huh? Yeah, but they didn't know they didn't have a gun. The killer didn't know that. A knife cannot save you from a gun. No, maybe not. No. I mean, Ethan could have shot the guy when he was coming down the stairs. Shannon said, did anyone see Jeff H's video? He said, I think it was JD had scratches on his hands. He thinks it was JD and that he had scratches Who's on Who's video? Who's video? On uh, Jeff H. Who? Jeff H. Jeff H's video? Yeah. Yeah. Where, where was it taken? On his channel, you know, the Jeff that comes up here. Jeff Evidently, H. he made a video about it. I haven't seen it yet. Jeff H. Yeah, he's been here on the panel, Al. He was on here the other night playing guitar with Jimmy. I miss that. Just Jeff H is the name of his channel. Yeah, another great point. No, Alec it's a different name. Made. I can't remember what it is. Um, what was the other it, great point? What's the other great oh, point? Oh, Alley Cat said if the kids had been drinking a lot, then, you know, you're kind of out as soon as your head hits the pillow. And you're, you're kind of out of it. You, your reflexes and your the way you would usually uh, try to protect yourself and your defenses are going to be, you're going to be compromised because of the drinking, you know. So that would have given the killer a little edge too. Christine Ferreira, yeah. I have to use a fan to go to sleep every night. I have to have that fan going. Yeah, a lot of people have fans going. A lot of people what? Well, oh, fans don't... going or no yeah. noise machines or even yeah. remember Janae when we were in uh, when we were roomies and yes. I had a fan going. Remember in the bathroom. Yes, yes. I said, I hope you don't mind, but I have to have a fan. So I, I no. concentrated. Yeah, I concentrated on that bathroom fan to fall asleep. I, yeah, I have to I'm have sure, it going, too. Sure, now, it wasn't is, as good as... What is as, Jeff H's symbol no, for his channel? It wasn't as good as mine, but... What is Jeff H's symbol for his channel? Is it a blue J? Ah. Uh, I'm, something music, isn't it, Carolyn? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, well, I know I subscribed so to it. I haven't uh, checked it out yet. Carolyn? Yes? Christine Micro sent you an email. Who sent me an email? Christine Micro. Oh, okay. Corner Club Bar, it says. All right. Thanks. What? Barb said Jeff H's YouTube is no longer up. What are you talking about? Huh. No. That can't be. Yeah. I see that. Really? What? His whole yeah. channel? No. What Barb's saying? Hold on. Let me check. Oh, Jeff, where are you, Jeff? Come on. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey. 
Hold on. Oh, I would love to hear about. I would love to hear about that video. Yeah, Shannon said it's a. Well, I remember him mentioning something about uh, Jack D having some marks on his hand or something. Really? On panel. Are you kidding me? Well, he saw. He saw it. I didn't real. I didn't see what he was talking Isn't about, funny? but. This channel is still there. Barb said, I subscribe, no longer on my list. No, Barb, Shannon said it's up, that it's still there. Christine Micro? I'm going to ask you something. Can you please reply to the email? Yes. Hi, Farm Wife. Hi, Farm Wife. Carolyn, why is my picture again so little? I don't know. Well, is it a setting here? Because everybody else's is big. I remember I had a little one too. That's why I had to change my, my thing. I changed mine. Did you make that just as my setting? No. <laughs> You're tired, huh? Me? Yeah. Now I'm getting a second wind now. I was oh. tired, now I'm getting a second wind. Hmm. All right, let me see now. Um, Did you find it? I'm, wait, I'm trying it first, I have to. Oh, okay, never mind. What do you want me to find, Jeff? Yeah. yeah. Alley Cattails, he was going by, uh, uh, I think when he was at the memorial, maybe? At the end, when he hugged the mother, the mother hugged him, I should say. But the father didn't hug him. The, and the, the, the mother only gave him a side hug, not a full frontal hug. It was like a side hug. It was a, it was a side hug. Side hug. Yeah. Mm hmm I'm going to be a grandma again, everybody. Oh, how cool. Congratulations. Really? Thank, Thank you. What, who's having, Lucky. your daughter's having another baby? We got uh, the announcement Christmas Day that Michael and Heather in Portland are expecting. And the baby's due the end of June. When, oh, wait, wow. what, how, wait, how many do they have? One, this baby Arlo, he turns two on March 14th. Oh, okay, good. Wonderful. Congratulations. I know, I'm so excited. I'm gonna I'm planning a trip to go out there. I don't blame you. <clears throat> I don't know how much of a help I'll be because <clears throat> Really, I don't know if I can keep up with the two-year-old. Like when they're at the hospital and stuff, I don't. <laughs> do they expect I don't you to know. go? They, do they expect you to go down there and do that? No, they don't expect me to. It's just that I want to do it. Mm -hmm. I want to say, yeah, everything's mm -hmm. fine. 
just me and Arlo will wait here for you while you guys are at the hospital. I want to do it so badly. Right. Yeah. But then again, I don't know if I can keep up with a two-year-old because Cole's 13 years old now, and that was Connor's 11, so well, that was the just, last time. So you're going to have to get into better shape, then you just have to work out and stuff until then. No! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to have to push it up a notch. <laughs> Take it up a notch. I'd have to hire a personal trainer. Well, then you have to do what you have to do, right? <laughs> Find a cure for fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. In other words, you ain't getting no sympathy here. <laughs> you put your, you can do anything you set your mind to, Janae. I know you can. Oh, my gosh. No. I know. I was thinking, boy, I need to start because mm -hmm. spring is coming up real fast mm -hmm. you gotta get to work <laughs> but i i definitely want to insert myself into the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. plus yeah i'm um... we, we want a girl i mean i don't care so much all we have are boys so Heather wants a girl. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have to see. Yeah. Don't know okay. yet. Farm wife said, Jeff's video says, hands look cut free. So he's saying. Cut free. Yeah. No but, cuts. Yeah. But then Shannon said, farm wife, yes. It said, looks bruise cut free. So he's saying he didn't say. He said there wasn't any marks. Right. So you start hearing so many things that everything Everybody becomes mixed has together. What was I supposed to be doing? Kevin's cleaning up the kitchen. How come you're cleaning up the kitchen so late? Better than cleaning out his closet. That's how we did it on vacation too. Remember? Well, you weren't. You were asleep, but believe me when I tell you. We were out there. I remember you guys. Three, four, five in the morning. Oh, yeah. That's true. I forget. You guys yeah. are the third shifters. Yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> we sure were. Oh, my God. We're trying to cheer it a little bit before we come, but I don't hold out a whole lot of hope. Because we're all like bad influences for one another. You know, like try and cure it when we go the next time. But, you know, before we get there, try and get an earlier bedtime. But we're, we're going to be surrounded by people who are bad influences, including myself. I'm a bad influence on myself. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to work something out. I don't know what, but something. <laughs> We can always watch the sunrise like we did. It was cool. That'd be so fun. This year, though, when I go out in the sun, I have to be covered up, you know. I'll have to wear my long sundress, you know, like Carolyn did. I can't even have my legs showing. Because I had have, I have spots on my legs that had to be scraped off oh my oh, goodness I be cut out on my leg i have a scar about three and a half four inches long on my leg on my shin yes i've got yeah. one on my shin and then one to the side of it it's not a contest cap. yeah they're not quite three inches they're about two inches and they're they're yeah. finally starting to get a little lighter 
My goodness. But yeah, so I'm going to have to wear like, well, I have a lot of long skirts, so I can My wear a long skirt. My said just load up on the sun sunscreen. Use a lot of sunscreen. And yeah, that's sunscreen. true. Use good sunscreen. Yes, very and you good know what? sunscreen. I, I barely got any color when I was there. A little, a little bit, but hardly any. Yeah. Very, very diligent about that. Well, I, I was like on my face. I'm always adamant about my face and my hands, um, my neck, stuff like that. But I didn't care about my legs. I just thought, well, I want my legs tan. Right. I, I just exactly. really didn't realize that they can be a problem too. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, on your on shins, that's a very common spot for skin cancer I for women. Didn't I didn't know no that. Idea. I had no idea. Me either. No one told me. And then men, it's the back of their shoulders. Yes, I I mm -hmm. saved Carolyn from getting it because I put some on her back. Yeah, a couple times. I, that's why I bought the spray, and you can spray it in any direction, upside down. It doesn't matter. But I did get Kevin to spray my back because I. And I thought it was unnecessary tell. that you had to be. You wanted to, you know, somebody to hold you by your ankles so you could spray it upside down. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was a little I unnecessary. Said, I don't think I you suppose. really need to do that. The only that's what you're, they mean. Sharon. I used to be able to do it. You, you know, said I want to be able to spray it upside down, hand like it says on and the then can. I could take the other hand and spray it. Yeah, right, I was really right. talented. Mm -hmm. That is how I used to do push-ups, though. Mm -hmm. I do a handstand against the wall, and then I use my weight for my for push-ups, my whole body weight. Oh yeah, I didn't weigh, I didn't weigh anything, yeah. so that's a good way to do it. Yeah, I couldn't do it now. If my life depended on it, I'd break my neck. I'm sure. Of it. Oh, although it it could be a goal. Yes, could be a goal. It's no problem, Barb. Mm. We won't write that you up for this infraction, one. but we'll have to see. I can't promise Kevin won't write you up for another one. What, Carolyn? Barb said she found Jeff's channel and she's sorry. And I said, it's okay. We won't write you up for this infraction, but I can't promise her that Jeff, uh, that uh, Kevin won't write her up for another one. <laughs> Speak for Kevin because you know how he is. Right. Kevin's so. the stickler on that. It goes yeah. into this big he ledger really of infraction. Yeah. It's called the infraction ledger. <laughs> Yeah, he, he doesn't he uh, bend the rules. For questioning for inserting your opinion about what he how he handles things. Mm -hmm. see, you might get written up. I could be written up into the infraction journal. Okay. Broken arrow murders. Broken arrow. I have murders. heard of those murders. Okay. Broken arrow murders. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Six children and two adults were found dead in their burned home last week. This was mm. November 1st, 2022. Oh, wait, what? That's what it says, yeah. Oh, I haven't heard of that then. Police say there isn't much they can say right now. It's absolutely insane. Uh. Let's see here. The body, the number of bodies is so Appointment high. reminder. Looking. Oh, uh, let me go into something better than this. Okay, so they were the Beaver family, I believe, is their name. Let me see now. Is this them? How could there be crime scene photos released already if this was just in November? I'm confused. Let me see here. Was their last name Beaver, Nikki? 
Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. So, what is this from? So there's the. I'm looking at the evidence photos. Hi, they they were covered in blood. Covered in blood. Oh. With scratches and all kinds of stuff on them. All of these brothers. So blood all over the place. Remember, remember Redleck. Remember how much blood um, Danielle Redleck had on her. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this guy, I don't see this person escaping without being covered in blood. I know. Um, let me see here. Uh, were they not worried about getting away and they took a shower and all that but yet wouldn't they find that in the shower like but dna that's what i think i think this person brought clothes cleaned up took their duffel bag and left i don't know why it's, that's in november that's 1st because it's saying it's july 22nd of 2015 dispatchers in broken arrow oklahoma received a 911 call the call itself was chilling, and it led authorities to the murders of five members of the Beaver family. The scene inside the Beaver home was shocking. The news that the murders had been committed by two of the Beaver boys was also shocking. Two of their sisters survived the attack, and one sister was able to tell authorities just who had committed the murders. Let's see here. How long ago was this? 2015. Let me see. Okay, so let's see. So we have this. Let's open it. Um, yeah, July 22nd of 2015. Here's a picture from the scene. Oh gosh, that rhymed. Yeah. Okay. Police received a call believed to be from 12 year old Daniel Beaver from the home saying that someone was attacking their family. Officers arrived at the home where they found a 13 year old girl in the front yard suffering for multiple stab wounds. And then they said, um, police locate the bodies of five members of the Bieber family, David 52, April 44, Daniel Christopher 7. So that other one that I just told you about must be a totally different thing. And for another, that was a murder-suicide, That I, the other one I was showing you about. Daniel Christopher 7, Victoria 5, and the two youngest were found in the bathroom oh. on the first floor. Oh. David and Daniel's bo oh. ba bodies were found upstairs. April Beaver's body was found near a couch in the living room. All died of a combined of more than 100 sharp force wounds believed to be from knives and possibly a hatchet. April Beaver, mm. according to court documents, tried to fight back and was stabbed nearly 50 times. The two-year-old girl was found oh. unharmed upstairs. And then these were the brothers says Michael Beaver 17 Robert Beaver 19 were found hiding in a wooded area behind their family's house they were reportedly covered in dirt and blood both were arrested on five counts of first degree murder and one count of assault and battery with a deadly weapon then let's see the Beavers were charged in the deaths of their parents and siblings as well as the attack on their 13 year old sister who survived and they entered a not guilty plea in August. Wow. They can kiss their lives goodbye. And let's see. They were arraigned by video. They pled oh. not guilty to all charges. The attorneys previously filed motions requesting records, including the 911 audio from the call to police be sealed from public view. On August 5th, the judge rules that the computer-aided dispatch transcript of the 911 traffic shall be released by the city of Broken Arrow. The audio, however, is ordered to be sealed. Michael Beaver's defense attorney, Rob Nye, files motions to have his client prosecuted as a juvenile. State law indicates 15 to 17 year olds charged with first degree murder are to be tried as adults and ineligible for juvenile or youth offender certification. Nye also challenges the constitutionality of that law. Uh, his motion was denied. Let's see then. 
The head of preliminary hearing defense attorneys asked the judge to limit sympathy for the deceased. Let's oh, see here. Get out. Mm -hmm. Really? Then Robert Beaver attempts to commit suicide in a side his jail cell at the medical unit where he's kept segregated from his brother. Tulsa deputies say he tried to hang himself by tying a sheet around his neck and oh boy. and sleeping boat, propping the boat against the toilet to allow his head to hang freely. A sleeping boat is a large plastic canoe shaped tray for inmates who don't have a bed. Okay, let's see now. Um, plea deal allows Robert Beaver to avoid the death penalty. Robert Beaver, 19, was sentenced to five terms of life without parole and one life term of which he will run consecutively. District Attorney Stephen Kunzwiller said a decision on pursuing the death penalty would be made by the time of the arraignment. Robert Beaver's attorney said the plea deal his client took allowed him to avoid the death penalty. And then the vacant home burned in a blaze on March 18th. The two structure vacant home where five members of the Beaver family were murdered burned in a blaze that tore through the structure. An investigation has not determined the cause of the fire. Wow, okay, so then that was burned. How long after did the house burn? 2017. Let's so see. And then, they're going, then they would eventually turn the property into a memorial garden, and they were raising 50000 to do that. And then let's see. Um, wow. That's absolutely... What about the other brother here? Horrendous. Jury was seated in the Michael Beaver trial. That was in 2018. And then the jury found Michael Beaver guilty. After more than five hours of deliberation, the jury found Michael Beaver guilty of killing his parents and three young siblings and of attempting to kill his 13-year-old sister who survived to become the prosecution's star witness against him. At least half the jurors openly cried as the verdict was read with a bailiff passing out tissues. And Beaver, as he tried to sit down after hearing the verdict, fell on the floor and was helped back to his seat by the sheriff's deputy. Okay, I do remember this now seeing some of this. Did the grandmother stand, like stick by the side of the kid, Carolyn? I don't know, let me see. Um, court also provided a copy of Beaver's videotape police interview with Broken Arrow detectives Eric Bence and Rihanna Russell after he and his brother Robert Beaver were arrested in July of 2015. It also included in the evidence was the audio of the 911 call placed by 12-year-old Daniel Beaver shortly before he died. Okay. Michael Beaver in July of 2018 spoke before the judge's sentencing and he said, every minute and every second, I've been thinking about what I could have done differently and what kind of life I could have had with my family. Mm -hmm. Expected to hand down a formal sentence in Beaver's quintuple murder case, Judge Sharon Holmes instead decided to give herself more time to think about it, putting off a decision until August 9th. And then in July of 2019, Robert Beaver attempted to attack the prison staff. Two staff members were standing in a day room at Joseph Harp Correctional Center in Lexington when Robert Beaver approached them from behind with a weapon. And Robert is, let's see. How he got a weapon. Yeah. Yeah, um, you only know, make them out of, is that the older brother? No, the younger one, I believe. The younger one, the one she was thinking about what she was going to do with him. Yeah. And he attacked people. Well, he got life now, right? It's the younger one. Let me see. A sharply divided appellate court has upheld Tulsa judge's decision to disregard the jury recommendations in the sentence for Michael Beaver for the fatal 2015 attack. A 3-2 to two ruling ensures his convictions and life sentences will stand through two appellate court judges. Noted Beaver's term of incarceration is in contrary to the jury's wishes and appears to violate the spirit of the U.S. Supreme Court. Why, what did she give him? Let me see. What did she give him? 
Oh, Michael Beaver's life sentence was upheld. Okay, so he got a life sentence. And let's see. They're go they there is a documentary on this case. Let me see. It's called uh, HLN. It's on HLN. It says, um, what do they call it? HLN Lies, Crimes, and Video. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's seen that. But you're wanting to know who, which ones killed who? I, I'm not sure yet. Um, let me see. Yeah, I don't think they really even know. Let me see. Crystal, one of the two survivors, identified two of her older brothers. Let me see here. Crystal Beaver survived the brutal killings performed by her brothers, but was critically injured from her wound. She identified two of her brothers as the assailants in the familiar side, saying that they lured her to a bedroom before slitting her throat and stabbing her in the stomach and arm. She underwent surgery at, I remember oh. this, at a nearby hospital and was listed in serious but stable condition. The girl was initially reported to the 911 caller, but it was her 12-year-old brother, Daniel James Beaver, that called 911 for help saving his two sisters that night. Two-year-old Autumn Beaver was found alive and unharmed with Crystal inside the house. The surviving children were put in the state's custody. The parents, as well as three children, were all stabbed to death. Knives, hatchets, and other bladed weapons were found at the scene, wow. along with protective gear. Law enforcement officials say at least some of the weapons found were used in the killings. Five people were killed. David Beaver, 54. April Beaver, 45. Daniel Beaver, 12. Christopher Beaver, 6. Victoria Beaver, 5. Crystal Beaver, 13, had her throat slit and stab wounds. And what were the neighbors said parents, the parents homeschooled their, ch their children and kept a close eye on them, restricting them from mingling with neighbors or other children. The family's lifestyle was reported to be so inconspicuous that some neighbors found out the full name of the entire family for the first time when the medical examiner released them. Neighbors also noted the strange and unsettling behaviors of Robert and Michael Beaver. Defense attorney stated that da David Beaver was physically and verbally abusive towards his children According to Crystal Beaver's testimony, Robert Beaver claimed that both of his parents were hateful and abusive to him and all of his siblings. He said his parents would often talk about people they hated, and they would refer to the biblical apocalypse as a retribution thing for everything they hated about the world. Robert Beaver confessed to committing the murders. He claimed that he and his brother planned the act for some time and intended to commit a shooting spree outside the family, hoping it would rival and even outdo the 1999 Columbine High School massacre. Oh, my God. Uh, oh geez. He later confessed that he and his brother planned to dismember the bodies of the family, place them in storage bins, and hide them in the attic of the home. He also oh. stated that they planned to steal the family car, shoot and kill five random people, each at multiple locations, oh, right. and eventually achieve a body count of at least 50 people. An officer who interviewed Robert Beaver stated that Beaver even admired serial killers, hoped to strike in locations outside of Oklahoma, and wanted to achieve a body count of up to 500 people or more. Oh my God. The two fled oh. the scene through the back door of the house when police arrived and headed into a wooded area behind the property. They were apprehended quickly with the use of a canine unit and arrested without incident. The suspects were identified as 18-year-old Robert Beaver, and old, the oldest son of David and April Beaver and his 16-year-old brother, Michael. Robert was armed with a knife at the time of his arrest. One of the brothers spontaneously uttered that plans for the killings were stored on a flash drive inside the home. That flash drive was later retrieved by the police when they searched the home a second time. They also recovered computer equipment and surveillance cameras, which they believe recorded the murders as they were located near where the three where three of the victims' bodies were found. It was later determined that the brothers planned to make two videos, one depicting the bodies of the family members that would be shown to investigators and prosecutors, the other one without the bodies that could be posted online. 
Authorities have called the killings their worst, the worst single criminal event in Broken Arrow history. I guess. The brothers were charged with five counts of first degree murder, one count of assault and battery with intent to kill. On July 25th, authorities announced that Michael Beaver would be charged as an adult. Uh, let's see. Conviction of first-degree murder carries the punishment of life imprisonment or the death penalty. However, the Tulsa County District Attorney stated that Michael Beaver would be exempt from the death sentence since he was under the age of 18 at the time of the murders. Okay. Um, then we have that Robert Beaver attempted suicide. And so legal proceedings. He got the death penalty, but they, he get, did not get the death penalty. Nobody got the death penalty, age. yeah. Right. But he's locked up forever. Yeah, yeah, both are. Tell me they are. Yeah, it doesn't tell me who killed how many and um, whoever asked for that. What state was that in? Oklahoma. Oh. It wasn't on a reservation, was it? Mm. Hold on a minute. Let me see here. I'm looking up the legal uh, document here. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it was on. It doesn't say. Uh, John Beaver was tried by a jury and found guilty of five counts of first degree murder. He was, let's see, a broken arrow. We got that already. Pled guilty. The story of what happened that night is drawn largely from the testimony of CB, appellant's 13 year old sister. Robert Beaver and appellant's pretrial statements to police. Prior to the day of the murders, appellant and Robert Beaver, also referred to as the brothers, had collected body armor and knives to be used in the murder of their family. Those killings were to be a prelude to a cross-country killing spree. The brothers sought to emulate certain serial killers in an, intend to, in an attempt to exceed the body count of recent well-known mass shootings. The brothers had ordered guns that were to be delivered that were to be delivered to a local gun shop. They had yet to be picked up as the brothers needed someone over 21 to actually pick the guns up. The ammunition over 2,000 rounds was to be delivered to their home July 23rd. Late in the evening of July 22nd, all the family members were in bed except for the appellant, his brother, Robert, CB, and their mother, April. CB testified at trial, this is the sister that survived, that around 11.30 p.m. her mother told her brothers to go do the dishes. When she went to their bedroom, she found them putting on body armor. She also noted that they had set out knives on the bed. The sister had seen them put on the body armor previously and knew about their extensive collection of knives. When she arrived in their room, the appellant asked, should we do it right now? Robert replied, yes. The appellant took told the sister to look at something on his computer and when she did Robert came up behind her with her came up behind her and slit her throat. Oh. Robert Beaver oh. testified that the plan was for CB to die quickly and then they would have to drag her body to the closet. However, CB did not die quickly and she fought back as Robert repeatedly stabbed her. CB ran screaming from the bedroom and headed down towards the front door. As she ran, she heard her mother scream. CB ran outside, but was dragged back inside the house. CB suffered multiple stab wounds, including some that appeared to be defensive wounds. Several of the wounds were so severe that her internal organs protruded out of her abdomen. <sighs> when first responders arrived on the scene, she was thought to be near death. However, despite the severity of the wounds and the massive blood loss, she did survive. Robert then stabbed his mother, April Beaver. She fought back aggressively, but ultimately succumbed to nearly 48 stab wounds to her arms, face, chest, and abdomen. Robert then asked the appellant where the others were, and appellant replied that they were hiding. A younger brother, 10-year-old CP, CPB, and 5-year-old VB had heard the commotion and run to a bathroom where they locked themselves in. The appellant knocked on the door and said, let me in. He's going to kill me. One of the children opened the door, at which time the appellant entered and stabbed both of them to death. Oh. CPB had approximately 21 stab wounds to his neck, back, chest, head. BB suffered approximately 23 stab wounds to her neck, back, chest, face, and, face, and abdomen. Both victims had defensive wounds. At trial, Robert took credit. Okay, so at trial, Robert took credit for killing 
the two young ones, CPB and VB. However, in mm. pretrial statements, the appellant admitted to stabbing them. So who knows who's telling the truth? Appellant then went yeah. to his father's home office where his 12-year-old brother, DB, had locked himself inside. The appellant used the same ruse as before, telling DB to open the door that Robert was going to kill him. When DB opened the door, the appellant said to Robert, he's all yours. Uh, DB's pleas to be spared were ignored. Robert grabbed DB and stabbed him in the stomach. Ultimately, DB suffered 21 stab wounds to the stomach, chest, head, neck, and back. At uh, some point, the brother's father, David Beaver, came out of his room and Robert stabbed him repeatedly. David Beaver ultimately suffered 28 stab wounds to his back, chest, neck, and abdomen. During the murder spree, the appellant had disabled the home alarm system. Prior to his death, DB used the appellant's phone to call 911. The appellant admitted he took the phone from DB and smashed it to the floor. When the murders, with the murders concluded, the brothers ran to a creek beside their house to hide. Officers arrived on scene at approximately 11.30 p.m. PM in their subsequent search of the house, they discovered a 23 month old AB asleep in an upstairs bedroom untouched by the murderous rampage which had occurred on the floor below. Robert Beaver testified that they intended to kill the baby by cutting off her head. However, it appeared the brothers had forgotten about her in the melee. Um, the brothers were ultimately located by police and searched with search dogs near the creek. One of the dogs had bitten the appellant in an attempt to subdue him. The appellant was covered in dirt and blood. The blood was later determined to be from his mother. Forensic testing later showed appellant's blood was found on the knife handle and the blade of that knife had a mixture of blood from which his father, CPB, and DB could not be excluded. For his part in the murder spree, the appellant was convicted of five counts of first degree murder and one count of assault with, and battery with an intent to kill. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for each of the five murders and 28 years imprisonment for the assault with intent to kill. The sentences were ordered to run consecutively. Okay, and then it's, um, it's talking about his appeal here, but I have the pictures of what they look like. Hold on. Look at those. I'm glad I can't see them. That's a freaking nightmare. Sure oh is. gosh, yes. I don't know what went on in that house. The other kids weren't to blame. The father was awful. The mother, I don't know. But you can't kill your siblings, my God. Yeah. We got way out of hand. I oh. thought they were in Columbine. Oh. And they wanted to kill more. Yeah. This was just a start. If if the kid the poor twelve year old died saving his sister. And uh boy. You really messed up those oh, kids. Nine one one. Oh man. The one who's not completely messed up is the baby. But let's let's just hope that. I, who knows who got the baby? I wonder. Someone normal, I hope. Yeah, yeah I do yeah, too. Love her and nurture her and. Oh. Uh,
Did anybody go out shopping today for sale items? No, my son didn't go to the Were they given? I mean, you know, it used to be you went the day after Christmas, and oh my goodness, you could have a field day. My son said there was like nothing. There were so many sight. people. You could right. get, there were good buys online if you needed stuff like in Christmas trees and stuff. They had big sales. Right. But there were so many deals before mm -hmm. that it almost seems like an afterthought to be bothered going out. Yeah, I watched a YouTube, the Spit Frugal Mom. She was mm. going to go to Walmart this morning and she got a whole bunch of stuff. She got like, oh, like Dove gift sets where it would have body wash and lotion. Oh, I would have liked getting that. I yeah, would've... she got a bunch of those. And then for the guy, she got Axe mm -hmm. um, body yeah, wash yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. And so I'm going to my Walmart thinking they're going to have those things. They didn't have any of those things marked down 50%. So you could get them for like $10. <coughs> mm -hmm. Oh, they I, did or didn't? They did not. So I, I, they, oh, huh. I didn't then. get any of those gift sets. No, I wouldn't either. And it was supposed to be a Vino gift sets also with a facial exfoliating and then. <coughs> oh. Huh. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to go to Walgreens because I have a Walgreens right close to me. Mm -hmm. And I like. I like their Christmas stuff. They they just have a cute little supplier that supplies them with Christmas decor. Oh, um, I didn't know that. Yes, I went the night before Christmas Eve, and I got a few things that were already 50% off. And so... I'm going to go back there tomorrow and see what else I can get. Mm -hmm. I, I seem to have good luck there when I go there. I never go there, and there's one not real far. I don't know why I don't. I think I've been a couple times, mainly because they had nail polish that I liked. And then I, after a while, I started discovering it in other locations, so I stopped going to Walgreens. The only reason I went was to nail polish. Sure. Carol and Little Lady wants to know, did they have a reason as to why they did the killing? Well, the oh, uh, well, I think they said the abuse, right? They said something about, let me see. Mm. They alluded to the abuse yeah, by the, the father and the mother. Um, Wouldn't let him congregate with other kids. Here's something else. Let me see from the trial. Um, it was. The, it wasn't a whole lot here's that the they said was wrong. Let me pull this up. They were homeschooled. So they didn't get any social interaction, which is... This is the detective statement. It says the first day of planning... Okay, hold on a minute. This is a voluntary statement from Michael. No. Is that Michael? How come that, he didn't put his last name correctly on there? Let me see. Yeah, I guess he can't write very legibly. I am 16 years of age, having been born 11 4. I don't understand that. I live at blah, blah, blah. I have been duly sworn. Da, 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 da. 
I do not want to talk to an attorney. I hereby waive my rights, blah, 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 blah. The first day of planning was on June 30th, 2015, when Robert found out that he could buy weapons and he told me his plan to kill everyone in our house and their go on a killing spray through the U.S. I thought it was a great idea and I agreed to join him. The I guess it, I don't know what that, something that it looks like would be planned but it doesn't look like that was to first at around 12 a.m. to put on our gear and Robert would kill April Beaver and then I would kill Crystal and Victoria then go upstairs and both kill David Beaver and the baby then go downstairs and Robert would kill Daniel and something then wait a couple of days and lease the state leave the state on and begin this spree. What actually happened the night uh, around 12 a.m., we invited Crystal into our room and I distracted her with my laptop. When Robert went up behind her and cut her throat, she started screaming Jeez. and fell to the ground when Robert kept stabbing her in the throat. Then a couple seconds later, April came in and said, and something scared, yell, call the police and Robert, see you going then. He went over and stabbed April in the neck. Then Crystal ran out of the room yelling and went outside and landed in the driveway. Robert followed and drug her back to the bench in the front lawn. Then something ends. I'm surprised they didn't kill that girl at that point. They, they didn't do anything. Went inside and started something mom and then the little kids in the back room and then he asked me to go get crystal i then went out the front door and pulled her inside just before he is asked me to get crystal david came down and robert cut and killed him then daniel and perry locked them Selves in the bathroom and in a office room. Something begged them to let me in and they did. I went into the bathroom where Perry was and I stabbed him in the neck and then I went into the living room where Robert had chased down David and on the front door so we went to the back door and went into the woods where we were arrested okay. they didn't even have a plan to get away anywhere they didn't the 16 year old that's his writ i think Ugh. written testimony yeah. maybe mm -hmm. and he did not he waived his right to an attorney but do you think that they can come back and say this kid should have just flat out had an attorney assigned to him from the get-go because of being underage how much of the law could they possibly have understood especially the 16 year old nothing you know no i i don't need a lawyer i did it yeah but there's I, a lot you of know, they basically were caught dead to rights. I hate saying it that way, but they really were. Mm -hmm. so. 
Oh, oh, horrific. Something was seriously wrong in that family. Boy, was it ever. Boy, oh boy. They never, thank God they never got to go on their spree. Yeah. And who, who were they going to find 21 years old to get them guns? Not to mention, killing sprees aren't cheap. You know, you want to go across the country and kill people? They think mm -hmm. driving, you know, little things like gas, food, money. Of course. Uh, they just go in the backyard and stand in the woods. Right. Hmm. Well, see, they'd get just as long in prison for killing just the mother and the father as they would for killing them all. Mm -hmm. So they figured you may as well kill them all. Yeah, I don't see why they just didn't kill the mother and the father. Mm -hmm. Could look at the kids as a victim too absolutely you know there's there's ways to solve things and they obviously had working telephones so why couldn't they just call the police or call social services right <laughs> Somebody's coming to bed. <sighs> Nikki oh. makes that. What time were they arrested? What? Um. What time were they arrested? Mm. What time? Yeah. Mm. I do not know. Um. <clears throat> It was right after, it wasn't long after, remember they said it wasn't long after the 911 call. They, they got them with the canine unit. So do they say what time the 911 call came in? Yeah, they said it was after 12, what was it, 12 a.m. when they started this right on that day, let's see. Mm. Um, Good thing they brought the dog. Let me see. And those dogs don't let go. Once they got you, they're not letting go. Okay, 12.30 p.m. July 23rd, police find. 12.30 p.m. July 23rd, 2015. So 2015 to now. Seven years. So 13. She's 30. The sister was 13. She's 30 now. Mm -hmm. And a two-year-old. Right? No, she can't be. Thirteen. Is the no, it's 20. not twenty thirty. She's twenty. I didn't need to carry the one. <laughs> I'm going. Oh, okay. I know, right? That's what happens when you do math. And the two-year-old sister. The two-year-old. Nine. Nine years old now. I hope she's loved. Maybe they kept them together. I think that there's only two that survived, right? The two year old and the 13 year old? Yes, two year old, yep. 
That's it. Two of them. Yep. Well, hopefully, hopefully they were taken in or assigned to or however they do it. But I'm going to hope and by not by a family member. Yeah. One kid was 19, the oldest. Yeah, I believe, 19, 18. 16, yeah, let me see, I think. The youngest was 16, Michael was 16, and the other one, Robert, was he 19? Um, 19, 18, 16 and 18. Mm-hmm. Here, I'm going to go so I can get in the tub and go to bed. Okay, get in the tub, Scooter, hurry up. Huh? Hurry up and tub. get in the tub, Scooter, hurry up. Hurry. What? Get this thing, hurry up, Scooter, hurry up and get in the tub. Hurry up, Scooter. Hurry up. My hubby will be coming to bed just like Janae's. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm surprised he's not making her get off. You should see. Yeah, you should uh, see. Yeah, we got to show you I'm, something sometime. I'm probably going to have to shut it down here. Or go downstairs if you guys want me to stay on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love you guys. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye, Scoot. Good night. Good night. Night scooter. Yep. Night scooter. Love you, Carolyn. Love you, Scooter. Love oh, all Scooter, you Scooter. Yeah. Oh, scared me. Did yes, you? Did you? Did that doll come to you? Pardon me. Did you receive the doll? Was it in a um, uh, like a sandwich bag thingy? Sandwich bag. What? Well, I do have, I just haven't opened it. I do have, I, yeah, it's got to be that. I was, I know that's it, what it is, but I was saving it. But yes, I have it right here. I haven't even opened it yet, but I do have it. Oh, okay. open it do you want me to open it right now? Please. Yeah. Me, could you do me a favor and not be upside down like a bat because you're- and I'm not. I, Sharon, I think, did you receive um, your stuff? What? Didn't you receive the stuff that um, you had ordered some, wait, you had ordered something or someone had sent you something. Did you receive a package? I did. Well, didn't it Thank have you. something in there? Yeah, it did. Thank you for the pin. I love it. You're welcome. I thought I thanked you already. No, I, I'm like thinking like you guys didn't even receive the stuff. Oh, no. oh yeah, that would be it. Okay. I was oh, waiting. Sure, I think, I've had it here for days. I was just holding on to it. So it's only my second present that I've had to open. Okay. Let's sad fish. Hmm? Sad fishing. <laughs> yeah. Wanna see what Mike got me? Plus he's unwrapping that. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh. That's cute. Is that a watch or a bracelet, Sharon? This is a bracelet. This is my watch. But I always wear it. How pretty. I thought you, where's the pin? Do you have the pin? What? You regifted the pin already? No, I wore it in Midnight Mass. You did? I did. Oh. Why would I regift it? I don't know. Some people do regift things. Oh, no, I love it. I Are you kidding? Is that <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever. I had another pin I was going to wear to Midnight Mass, and I actually wore that one. Well, wait, here, wait, I got a bracelet, you, wait, too. Which pin are you talking about? The blue one what? you got or the other one? It, it was the sewing machine. Oh, okay. What is that? Who gave you that? 
my daughter. Oh, I was so jealous. It came out of the package. I'm but like, it's that's a bracelet, for me. too. Look. Oh, that was really nice. That's what your daughter got yeah, you? Yeah, because my grandkids with their um, initials and their birthstones. Very nice. Oh. And they left one Keep off. Keep it still. Keep it still. Keep it still. Why did they leave one off? But they left one off. Why? Um, she doesn't know, so she's going to contact them because she wants, you know, she wants it to be on here. She paid for it. Cute. Yes, get it. That's cute. So it's Isn't it? Yeah. And this is the family tree. And then it has a little saying in this box. I'll read it. It's really pretty. It says family. It says life, like branches on a tree, we all grow in different directions, but our roots remain the same. That's that really, pretty? yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it is too, it's really sweet. And then let me open this. From my New York daughter. Uh -huh. I'm going to go downstairs. Okay. Dark. Just be careful, okay, Janae. Make sure you watch where you're going. I'm putting. Yeah. Oh, this is a slide on. Oh, see, she see how angry she got. Angry right away. Did you hear that, Carolyn? This is not. I was excited. She's but not I thought, the oh, doll. No, you sent me something. I love this, Carolyn. Oh, that is adorable, Carolyn. It's a little scooter tail. I love it. it. You've got to open That's, it up. It's like vacuum yeah. sealed. I like that so much. Is that a pillow? A little scooter pillow. Yes. That's a scooter oh. on it. Oh, oh, oh. More napkins. More napkins, yeah. Sharon, you got napkins too, right? I did too. And my baby. Oh. 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 Can you guys see this table? Did he put that in? Oh my room? gosh, I love it. Did today. Jimmy have that wrapped in a towel? Yes. You're kidding me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Do you want me to send it? No, back? I'm just laughing my ass off because. <laughs> <laughs> it says welcome. I know, that's very cute. You know, can I say nice something? Dog. I thought about doing that before. Sure. I knew it was this baby, you know? Yeah. But I, I thought, well, it feels like there might be something more in there. So I'm going to wait. It's so, You know how I like to do that, right? Right. Wait, too. You do, too, Nicole? I do, too. You do, too? Yeah. All the yeah. time. Yeah, all yeah, the time. I, I love surprises. And I don't well, that's like nice to... Today. No, ahead of time. Very nice. Anyway, Jane. this table is my Christmas present. Oh, and nice. Ooh. Back up a little bit. That's beautiful, Janae. Nice. That is. Thank nice. you. And I have a full of, this is from me, you, Nicole, right? This angel that plays a song. Now, that you, one now, now you? you can sit with that and, and remind yourself that like we told me about the squirrel pillow that I, mean, I just sit and hold it, remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to remember who I got all this. This is from Instagram. <laughs> A snowman. 
it's hard for me to keep track of what came from who. I know. This play came from Carolyn. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. And then these are drawers of guess Oh, what? I see all my napkins. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, we're going to do I... some serious decoupage this time that we go because we're going to get Nicole up to speed. These are all full of shells. These and my decoupaging. Oh, yeah. So this is really helping to put some of my craft stuff in. Oh, yeah. Now, this I got it at Walgreens, these trees. <laughs> I like your blind. Really nice, Booter, good quality. This is a mess, this table, but I know I got this from Nicole. This angel. Oh, that's the angel trio. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. That looked really good because I wrapped those lights around it. Oh, that's pretty. Look it. Yeah, and then you had sent me this little Santa Claus. Yeah. So that sits by him. And then I had this little girl open in a present okay. with the kitty. Oh, so cute. So that stayed there. Really pretty, Janae. Thank you. I got some jewelry, too. Mm-hmm some soy candles they have had no idea about these table. napkins Carolyn. Table what do you mean it is. Looks like my go, I was showing him you know yeah, yes. I love that pattern, Janae. The, what like do you mean he has no? He knows you use napkins, doesn't he? Oh yeah, but he just—he's uh, like those napkins were in there too. Oh. I'm like, oh yeah, all the napkins I have are all from her. Oh. I'm like, you know, they're not just regular napkins. Oh, you know, so he, he didn't know. He never even thought about <laughs> it. You know, he made these and no just, one yeah. even ate any. What is that? She the made brownie these. bites. Who made, you made those? Yeah. They look good. They smell good. Well, if I, were over there, if I were over there, there, I'd be eating them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I'd better put them in the freezer and save them for a rainy day. There you go. Dave would have eaten all those, too, if they, especially if they had nuts. They'd have been gone. Really? I wouldn't even, I thought he doesn't eat, like, cake or anything. Nuts? Yeah, yeah I thought I thought he's so picky about everything. He, well, he is, likes but he loves nuts in his chocolate. Really? Oh yeah. I wouldn't picture him doing that. Picture Carolyn, him like... you know what he's been eating now for the last month? He goes and buys the bulk, um, you know, nuts like the walnuts. You know how they yeah have yeah that? yeah yeah. And he sits in there every night watching one of his shows. Oh, eating the nuts. Crunch. You yeah. know, with that nutcracker. Oh, that those. Oh, cool. that we got those from Rocky. It was so funny because we buy him the nuts. So I wrapped up a big bag of mixed nuts for Christmas. And when Luke was handing out the presents, he gave Michael and Gia. And Michael goes like this, Rocky? And I go, oh, you gave him the wrong present. <laughs> That's Rocky's. Get it, give it back. <laughs> and, and Gia just burst out laughing. <laughs> Yeah. She thought it was hysterical that he got Rocky's present. Because <laughs> he goes like this, Rocky? Tree. Who's Rocky? Because he thought it was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, no, this squirrel. Oh, there's the bonbon plate, Janae. Oh, yes. This is My full cup? of peanut butter blossom cookies. You Just mm -hmm. piled mm -hmm. up the cookies. Mm. And then I got so this little... 
reindeer. This is heavy. It's a little wooden reindeer. I got that at Walgreens for $3. Hmm. And this present that Look already that. came lighted up, that was about 3 bucks. It lights up? Yes. It's got oh, lights in it. See it? Oh, now you're going to make me go to Walgreens. Yes, I'm going to really go tomorrow. Yeah. So oh, pretty. Oh, I'm going out. I'm going to go out. And then I got my bills here. A oh, snowman plate. I had um, cheese on this and then a bowl of crackers by it. And then I'll, this is the the Christmas one I ordered from Carolyn. Oh, that's pretty. On, yeah, I love this one on my tray, but... Wait, is that a napkin? I mean, a uh, shell? Mm -hmm. It's a decoupage. Yes. That's oh, wow. Okay, you I didn't know, even realize that. Is very, it very Christmassy. Very. I love it. it. I ordered it with snow on it. Yeah, so. she wanted the snow, so it's three-dimensional with snow. Yeah. Oh, but, you put the snow on there already? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on there, but when I did dishes last night, then I had to take off my jewelry. Here's my watch. Oh, oh there's pretty. The... I got from Carolyn. I Very wore that pretty. to Christmas Eve service. Mm -hmm. And then... My other bracelet. That's oh, that's very nice. nice. Yeah, so I stuck them in there to keep them safe. Okay. Uh -huh. Look at the gift that light. That is so cute how you have that all set up on that tear tray. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, like I that. just love Did it. You, and you got that, you were in my sunshine behind there for me too, right? On the wall? Oh, yes. Yes. I made that into something else. I see that. My sunshine, my only sunshine. That's so cute, Janae. Did you add the other stuff she to did. it? She did. She yeah. did. Well, that really looks Did good. you? Really? Yeah. How clever. She is clever. Incredibly clever. Yes, I get so many comments on that. It's like, where did you get that? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I had this. This is the metal piece, and then all I had to do was wire that. See how it yeah. has spokes on the back? Yeah. I just wired that up, and it made it a beautiful piece. And the mm -hmm. arrow, did you add that, too? That was there. It was all there. Oh, Wait. the arrow was already on there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, the arrow came with you are my sunshine. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Not it was, it was. No, on. she put it on there. I'm sorry. Oh. Only thing I had to add was this. The rest of this was on here. You're, you're off. You're on the wall, not on the. Oh, table. excuse me. <laughs> it's okay. I like your yeah. wall color a lot. Well. <laughs> Actually, I'm getting tired of this yellow now, and um, it's what a I mess in here, kitchen. but your kitchen's a, really cute, Janae. Yeah. Oh, thank it? you. Yes, it is. Oh, and then this little thing on top of the refrigerator, this was $3 from Walgreens. From Walgreens, too. What a steal. That's real pretty. I know. It's that a looks little metal. Yeah, it's a metal can. It says fresh trees, wreaths, and garland. That that was really cute. I didn't have to do a thing to that, so I set that up here. What's your weather like there, Janae? Oh, it's going to be 50 by Wednesday. Nice. We're going to hit 51 possibly 50 here by on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to say that. Being well. the below zero, you know? 
How pretty. There's oh, John's. Dance splash? I just set some pictures up here on my um, windowsill. That's John's BMW. He got the spring. Oh, yeah. It's got the British. Oh, it's cute. Huh. It's really cute. And then this is us. We went oh. to a Beatles tribute band, and then <laughs> they had this fake. <laughs> back thing that you could walk and act like you were walking oh, on the street like the <laughs> yeah. album like the album cover yeah like the album michael walked on the real one okay make That's her feel bad sharon <laughs> he recorded at abbey road studios right right in front of abbey road yep That's the us in church too, the beatles recorded he recorded in studio two Oh, yes. How exciting. Oh, look at that. Is that your boat? Not our boat. He was on a fishing trip on this yacht. Wow. He went with some guys. Look, well, he looks like he is in his element there, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he likes the water. Mm -hmm. Crazy picture of him. Kind of a mess in here. No, not at all. Kidding? It's pretty. Ghirardelli coffee? Yeah. Coffee? Yeah, Ghirardelli makes really good coffee. I need to water this plant. Also. And you have like the little checker pattern mat. That's pretty. I like that too. What do you mean? You had like a little mat um, to the left on the ground. It was like checkered, black and white. It looked, oh, I like that. yes. I, I really tried to incorporate some things like that because I just love that pattern. I love the pattern too. And then I got this pattern oh, yeah. too. I thought it kind of matched but yeah, now I have a new chair picked out for this it's a, a wicker chair but it's the same color wicker it's a brown wicker like oh, this okay. like and the... it's a barrel it's a uh -huh. barrel chair so I really like that little table you got though That's I really like that I no know. Nice yeah. nook that you have there. It's really that nice. It is so pretty. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this in this box here is a bench. It's or a stool. Oh, oh I was going to say a bench. That's going to be a lot to put together. Yeah. A bench. <laughs> Must be very little stool. pieces. <laughs> that I think <laughs> I'm going to sit. Very on. little pieces. Yeah. It looked real cute on Amazon, though. So. And there's all your, is those, are those Christmas cards or pictures? Picture um, this is just one Christmas card that I liked, so I stuck it up there. I like this that picture. Are your this is John's family in New York, his daughter. Oh, that we went to stay with in South Salem when I came and saw you. Oh, wow. Okay. Those are the people. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the people. Oh, cool. Those are the people in my neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, that's a Mikasa. Yes, that's what? from you. Where is that? A Mikasa candy dish, and then there's a luster looks like next to it to the right of some sort. Yes, Mikasa like cat bear so right there. That's a luster, oh, a luster bear. That's pretty. Oh, look, it's a collie. Oh, it's, it's a like collie. Dog. Yes, I like that dog. Beautiful. Is that, that angels? Is? I have that. Is that angels? Yeah, I have that Mikasa. Yeah, I did too. She bought you? one. For, 
I have it. Yeah, I kept that one for myself. Yeah. It's a Natasha. A no. Mikasa. Oh, that's that's for me. That 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 picture is from. Ke didn't Kevin get that for you for me? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've got my. <laughs> Her brushes in it. Look at how my cute. brushes. Yeah. Very nice. That looks very ornate. I like that. I don't even remember you having that, Kara. Yeah. I, yeah. that. I love that. Look at how nice that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't even remember. These I think I got from you, Nicole, didn't I? Or did I oh, get them yeah. from Caroline? Not from me. Oh, those you are got them from me. Yep. From okay. me, those All look right. old fashioned. Those vintage really is not. the word, Scooter. Vintage, They're yeah. Well, you know, they, they are vintage, they're um, they were still in the box, right? Mary yeah, Bright. yeah, Mary Bright. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I kept the box. Old really fashioned pretty. is good too, though. I like, you know, I, I haven't guess. heard that old fashioned, it just popped in my head. That's actually a nice word, too, to say that. That's it is, isn't it? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, pretty. Now, there is a Fenton piece, that green you got from somebody, right? This is from. Not Chris Fenton, Louis. Indiana Glass, I'm sorry. Indiana Glass. Yes. Yeah. That's from. Yeah. Chris Ray. Chris Ray. Now, what did you guys mean by Indiana Glass? Because. You don't mean like the state of Yes, Indiana. we do. And yeah. do you yeah. know there's a factory yeah. scooter that you can walk through the factory and see all the glass? Yeah. Really? Yes, I mean, and you I live there. What a, what a discredit you are to that state. And all you do is make fun of the people of Indiana. Look, Carolyn, you came closer to the microphone just to say that. I know. <laughs> Someone <laughs> needs to do that. You if should be going to the... Them. Let me. I'm going to look at where it is, okay? And if it's heard of close that, guys, to you, you're going to have real. to go on a field trip. Is when Kevin still in the chat? Class, I think I have no Somebody on YouTube said they were going there. Is Kevin okay? Sharon asked if is Kevin still in chat? I don't know if he is or not. Um, let me see. Kevin. It's in uh, Lancaster Colony, Dunkirk, Indiana. Never heard of it. Oh, see what a discredit she is yeah. to the state of Indiana. Look up Dunkirk. So it's still there to this day. Let me tell you, in 18, yes! uh, let me just tell you, this is right off the top of my head, okay? In 1895, the Pennsylvania Railroad Company built a large building in Dunkirk, Indiana. You know what it was? It was oh, named the so Dunkirk beautiful. Locomotive and Car Repair Works, and it was intended to build and repair railroad cars. The idea was soon abandoned. And instead, the building and property were purchased by George Brady and James Beattie. Together, they formed the Beatty Brady Glass Company. They produced yeah. glass lamps, glass chimney tops, vases, and some household glass. But in 1899, the Beatty Bla Brady Glass Company merged into the National Glass Combine. National Glass was a large combine consisting of 19 different glass companies. But in 1904, they changed the name to the Indiana Glass Company. An Indiana inspection book dated 1904 lists those inspections as having been done at the Indiana Glass Company, pressed and blown glass. And in 1907, the National Glass Combine failed due to the depressed economy, several bank failures. They were placed in receivership. The Indiana Glass Company was sold to a group consisting of Frank Merry, the president, Harry Batch, Harold Philp, Phillips, Secretary and Treasurer, Charles Smalley, the Rathborn Fuller, and James Merry Overleaf. And the Indiana Glass Company made pressed and blown glass where they made lamps and pressed molded decorative plates and bowls. Oh. Indiana oh. Glass is believed to be the longest producer of the Goofus Glass. For those of you who are not familiar with Goofus glass, Goofus glass was a very inexpensive way to make colored decorative glass. Pressed pattern yeah, glass cool. items were cold painted, not fired, and the paint was not permanent. If used or washed, the paint soon flash, flaked off. A bowl or a plate was painted gold on the exterior, and the pattern on the interior was filled in with paint. Red and gold seemed to be standard colors. Early American pressed glass items were made from about 1900. George to 1930. Some of the more popular Indiana EAPG patterns include Bethlehem Starbird, Strawberry, Darling Grape, Ferris Wheel, Garden Pink, Horse Mint, Late Butterfly, Paneled Daisy, and Fine Cut Shooting Star. 
Depression glass items were produced from 1925 to 1940. Some of the more popular Indiana glass depression glass include avocado, bananas, horseshoes, Lorraine, Old English, pineapple, floral pyramid, tea room, burn-in, and many more. Classic glass items were, were produced from 1970 to 2002. The date Indiana glass closed its doors. Sad day for those of us who love Indiana glass. But uh, in 1990, Indiana Glass added soda fountain supplies to their line of glassware. But this lady said they're open. There's a museum, I guess, that, and it's open. You can purchase books on CD. About it. But she said she was going to take people there. So they have some kind of a museum with it. Well, I, I didn't know Indi- EAPG was Indiana Glass. I didn't now, know that. Well, you learned something new today, Nicole. Thank me. Thank you. You're I have welcome. a 1910 EAPG cream. I did, too, because I had no idea about all this. I have the... I love it. I love that. Some it's heavy, have... too. Oh, yes. You can go to the Glass Museum. What is it? Okay. That? It's in Dunkirk, Indiana. I think it's called the Glass Museum, and it's... The Glass Museum in Dunkirk, Indiana, is a tax-supported organization which is governed by the Dunkirk Public Uh, Library Board of Trustees. And they have, um, we have pressed glass making tools, a hand press. There is a leaded glass mural, glass blowing and shaping. There are many dragon heart, carnival glass, lead glass, milk glass, diamond point, kings, Albany no glass, way. Norse glass, sandwich, tiara, household, and farm mm-hmm. items. It's a glass museum. Oh, Janelle, yeah. you have the See, most. Remember, I've said tiara before. You yes. guys didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah. Your bathroom is spotless. It's beautiful. It's clean. It's fresh. It has those beautiful. I love that with the Pretty. shells on it. But that thing over mm-hmm. the. Where did you get the thing on the wall? That? Yeah, the the, the what? No, the white thing on the wall behind the she toilet. Made, that she made that. Thing. You she made, made that? Um, no, no, no. This I got at Marshalls. Oh, that's cute. It's yes. a nice design. Yes, and I could paint that any color. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's almost it's... beautiful, just the way it is, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, huge. Oh, that's beautiful. This you could technically put darker color behind it just to it, so you would like attach. Yeah, yeah. If you know, just to change things out or. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Now this came from Walgreens too. Oh, that's cute. Was that I after love- Christmas or before? Um, I got this after Christmas last year. Oh, that's okay. where you go. You go after to get all the sales. All yes, the stuff I on do. Sale. I'm gonna go down tomorrow to Dollar Dollar General. See what they got. Oh, little lady. If you notice, I have a wreath in every row. I've noticed. Okay, They're here's everywhere. my. Great. This is a wreath, a lot oh. like the one that's in the bathroom. Yeah. All beachy, all beachy shells. Yeah. 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 I love it. I love her. Did you stuff. make that? Oh no, no. I bought, I bought all these. Well, you could have said yes, and nobody would have known. And then right. I have this one up here. It's oh, good luck to have a wreath. Nice. To have a wreath in every room is good luck and prosperity. Is it really? Or yeah. you really? <laughs> no. I've heard that before. Where well, where that... are you, little lady? Where are you that you have a glass museum? Where is that? Hi, Shakira. I want to see if I'm losing it to see if that's really Where's a thing. She's got roses on the wall. Look it up. This is my table. Ooh. Uh, some of this stuff. Your house is decorated so pretty, Janae. That's Ooh. Indiana glass right there, that white milk glass. Is it really? Yeah. That's from Linda. Mm hmm. This is from. Milk, milk glass. I believe this is from you, isn't it, Nicole? Nicole? I'm here. I was just looking up. I forgot what I was looking up about Breeze. <laughs> oh, Tacoma, Breeze. Washington. That's where Jimmy was born. Let me see it. Can I see it? 
Yes. Hi, Marianne. I'm Mary. Wait, Judy got your stuff. Up. She loves it, Marianne. Hi, she turquoise. Sent a picture of it. That's beautiful. That is nice. Are you sure that's not from Christy? It might be from Christy. It might be. And then... Oh, oh, that's, that's from me. Oh, that's look that's a that. vintage party light. Yeah. Isn't yeah, that's that from nice? Carolyn. Look at that. That's an interesting it's piece. A party light. You, you should know because it. you used to sell party light. I remember party light. But are the carolers? Just love it. Yes, Isn't they it? have a. Yes, they're all part. That you don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I that one. I don't know how I missed that. I don't Who used know. to sell that. And it matches no. this one so well. Oh, yeah. You know, all the white. They go together really beautifully. Yeah. Did you used to sell that, Janae? No. No, Janae. no I didn't. Use, I used to sell Avon. Well, I, I thought didn't you use, said you were a party light consultant. You lied to me. No, I wasn't a consultant. I bought a bunch of it. But oh. I was for, for Avon. I sold a bunch of oh, Avon. Oh, okay. So I, I look at that. Oh, no. Nicole, remember oh, this? Let me oh, me I bought this. I bought this at your shop. Hi, Turquoise. Remember? Oh, yes. Yep. And, and I just took it along with me, and then I put these little balls on it. Oh, yes. And then next you got that. year. I'm having you decorate my house. Okay. I know, right? Say, you should be yeah. an interior decorator. You are so good at it. Isn't pretty? Yeah. You have just an eye love for it. it. You have an eye for style. Yeah. Yes. And, and my ladder. A, I and swear. It, maybe timeless. It was, this stuff is timeless. This is not dated or anything. No, it's timeless. It's beautiful. I don't see fruitcake anywhere. Fruit, <laughs> who's fruitcake? Timeless. Yeah, fruitcake is fruitcake. Who said it? Oh, I thought you did. No, I said hi, turquoise. Oh. Okay. Look at my pelican. He came from the beach, hand carved. Oh, oh my Someone goodness. hand carved him at the you beach. Did, I know. Don't tell everybody. <laughs> Don't tell everybody that I did it. <laughs> They'll always be asking me for one, and that took a lot of time. <laughs> You're going to make me one next time we go, Carolyn. Uh, yeah, I'll buy him. I was amazed how plane. quick you did that. I know, Carolyn. That's amazing. What a good job you did. Just with a chisel and a hammer. How long did it take? <laughs> I don't know. I was sitting. I was sitting in the sun on the shore, and it just was, you know, working on it. it you holding your instruments. And she put rope. On I put the, the nautical hand. rope from the Dollar Tree. I wrapped that around. We went. She stopped at a Dollar That's Tree, and I got some nautical oh, rope you, and a hot glue gun. You well, forgot Carolyn. to put MRB on the. I know. I'll have to. I'll have to bring it down next time, and I'll have to sign it. Okay. You'll have to bring it with you. Yeah. To the I house. I will. Today. Good luck, turquoise. You'll do wonderful. Oh, what is Turquoise to, doing? They're going to try to do some crafts this year. Yeah. So good. Excellent. And what does Shakira mean? Thoughts on the screenshot? What does that mean? What screenshot? The screenshot. That's the screen. what I'm asking. Thoughts on the screenshot, she said. Maybe the Idaho Don't case. dox yourself, but I'm confused about the letter A. I am too. Are you not who you said you are? Oh my gosh. That's my husband's name. Don't say Applebee. it. Oh, cool. Don't say his name, though. Don't say his name. <laughs> oh, gosh. I forgot. I thought we were. Yeah. Don't no, worry nobody about heard it. it. Nobody That's heard for it. Applebee's restaurant. Applebee's. You love it. No, I, I don't use his name. Mm -mm. So well, that's his really daughter cool. got it. It's just a rug. That's why it has. If my daughter got it, it would have a different letter on it mm -hmm. but it's nice and cushy yeah. that's beautiful and is that is that is that like to the door to his office or something <laughs> it, no. it's to the front door front door. oh the front door okay. the front door and it's not too cold out it's nice and warm nice and can you imagine if you just saw a man running in the street right now after committing no, murder she would shut her door. So no, quick. but we would be a witness. We would all be witnesses. Right? Yeah, we would be. But we would, would, we would catch the guy. What, are you scratching your back with a scissor? Yes. I yeah, I do that all the time. That I is do that dangerous. All the time. I, I do that all the time, Scooter. Do you? Yes, I do. Almost every day because I lost my three back scratchers. I think people took them. Yes, I have a wooden one out here that I use, but it's not getting it's it. Not it's not doing it. 
Yeah, I know. Well, I, I don't know where mine are. Just my because Danielle uh, Nicole does that, you shouldn't continue to do that. I it's, have one that has Did the you have lunch at Cracker Barrel? That's great, Ruff. What'd you have? I either. love the chicken. Sunday chicken. Ruff went to Cracker Barrel today, Lucky. Oh, that's cute. Oh, my goodness. Is that a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh, that nice. looks really familiar, the, the art. Who makes that, I wonder? This is from Chris Ray. Oh. I know that. Oh, that's pretty. I don't I don't even remember half of this stuff coming out on auction. Oh, my All God. Right. Can you believe it? I'm like, what? I don't remember that. And and she's like, this is from Unicole. And I look at it. I'm like, mm. Is that a basement door? <laughs> no, this is just a closet. closet. Would you like to see the oh, closet? closet? Okay. okay. Can we see the top shelf to see if it's organized? <laughs> <laughs> it's organized. There's pillows so, up there. Such a mess. It's not a mess. Then, so you come in and you just come into this this small living room. Okay, and there's your foyer there right at the beginning. It's like, and then you walk into the yeah. living room. Yeah, there's my couch. We have the and... same couch, and it was the biggest mistake for me. I got mine at Ashley Furniture, and it's... So did I. Oh, I think this came from Rooms to Go. Rooms to Go. Okay, we got one just like it with the extra thing on the same side. Yeah, I'm going to get a different one because That's... John's worn out his chair since he's had his knee surgery. Yeah. And that's... That's yeah. a thousand dollar Lazy Boy recliner. Oh, does he use? And, it all? Oh, yeah. When he had his knee surgery replacement, then that chair got worn out. Yeah. Or so died. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have the whole downstairs painted a light gray. Oh, I'm gonna good. get a. I'm gonna get a dark gray couch. Very Pretty nice. similar to this one, only I, I don't want three cushions. I just want two cushions. Mm -hmm. And I want it to be super soft because this one's yeah. too firm. As long as you know you can't always get what you want. But no. if you take time, you find Megan you get what you Megan gets need. what Megan wants. That's right. Okay. And I'm the Duchess of Autumn Cove. Mm-hmm. So then you can either go upstairs or go into go the into kitchen, that, the bathroom, or you could go, go into, into the that kitchen. Bathroom, or this little dining room. Right, or go into the kitchen. I love your hutch right there, or whatever you call that. Oh, yeah, that's jammed pap. That's why I had to get that to be the supplement. And then this is the back door. You guys have seen the patio. Is your deadbolt on? Yep, it sure is. Okay. All right, do you live by the beach, Janae? No, no. I live because I'm um, just saying because this looks like a beachy type house. You don't yeah, have to it tell does. Her because I know she'll stop by. It's okay, Janae. It's only four <laughs> hours to the beach. That's not too bad. You're so uh -uh. close to the beach. Oh, no, that's that's why it's so easy for me to come and to the two see, see you we guys. We have to get to the airport two hours early on the fly, and you still got to get to the beach. So it's actually, okay, four hours is to. nothing. And then I showed Carolyn this before. This. This used to be one solid door, just like my closet doors that you would open. Mm. And when we had the kitchen done, we had it remodeled. Nice. Oh, I've got a little bit of storage in this town home, not enough. And then this is where the washer and dryer is. Oh, this is a townhouse? Yes. Oh, okay. Do you share a wall with somebody? Huh? Do you share a wall with your neighbors? Yes. This On this side is uh, our neighbor's garage. Can we bang on it for fun? <laughs> <laughs> no, we really can't hear much. 
of anything. We, we have fabulous neighbors. Next door is a single woman, Rhonda. She works at a bank. Um, and John just, he does handy work, put up ceiling fans and stuff. She recently moved in in the summer. And then when he went to Guatemala on a church mission, she kind of checked up on me every day. She went to the store for me, Aww. just kind of spoiled me. So well, if I was your neighbor, I'd pick you up and bring you everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. And, and I wouldn't even take gas money. I would just want to hang out. <laughs> so I gave her a bunch of the shells that I decoupaged. Um, and she was just crazy about those shells. Let me tell you, she went nuts. She'd never seen such a thing as those shells. What is that box right there? That right there is a speaker. Surround sound. I hate those oh. things. We used to have that too, something like that. Hey, you guys have movie night, and it's like you're right there. That's yes. cool. you, yeah. We used to have one of those, and we love. I don't even know what I left it. I, I thought that it. was that person there on that ladder with fuzzy hair. That <laughs> person. That, that's a read. Hmm. I thought it was a person with a hat on facing the other way. <laughs> Such a pretty home. It's just big enough for the two of us. Well, it sure. does have three bedrooms upstairs and two full baths upstairs, so that really helps. Oh, yeah. Sharon, do you live in a townhouse? Nope. No. Well, Sharon's got a big mansion. Do you want to live in a townhouse, Scooter? I don't have a what? big mansion. What are you talking about? Are you about? looking to live in a chat house? No. No, I was just oh. wondering. And you have a TV. Well, I'm trying to get, I like that fireplace, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, but I somehow I always get on something screwy. Oh, I love the fireplace. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yes. It always looks so real, you know? It, oh, yeah. The it one does. I they also have one you can YouTube. watch. It's like a Nordic fireplace and it's outside. That's what my daughter put on. Oh. I haven't seen that one. I put it on when I'm reading. And then I have it cracked. Do you? Yeah. I just put it on my tablet. I have a fireplace, but, you know. Yeah. The one on the tablet, I like. If the one on the tablet is easier to use and not clean, <laughs> not have to clean and not get soot all over you. We grew up with a fireplace, a huge one. And it was so much work for my parents. My poor dad would be out there in the winter lugging in wood. Yeah. 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 Electric fireplace would be my style. Me too. Dave's been making a fire this week for the first time in forever. It's nice. Did you guys, or do you guys burn your Christmas tree for tr tradition? Do you guys do that? No. No, we have before. <laughs> that would be pretty bad because we don't have a live tree. <laughs> not in the house, we haven't, you know. But... Yeah, not in the house. <laughs> <laughs> it burns up pretty quick. Oh, heck yeah. So get rid oh, of it, right? I get Very sad. Fast. Like everybody really loves their it. tree, like when you buy it, and then you're like, you haul it out to the herb, and it's gone. It's like, 
so mm-hmm. much care to go select it and everything, and then you just hate it and you throw it out there. You, have, you burn it and you have a bonfire around the tree. No, like- I don't like that. That's horrible. I feel like you're killing the tree. I, I, that's why I like to keep the tree, to get an artificial tree and celebrate that same tree. Well, I have an artificial tree now, but we used to do that. Yeah, we always used but to. And I'm glad I don't anymore because now I feel bad. Like it's a murder. <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. We haven't had a real tree in years. Yeah, well, a couple of years. I loved them. Um, I loved them. I was so allergic, though. I got hives all over. Oh, and... you can't, mm. you can't have a real tree if you're getting hurt. Like, that's not good. I didn't think I would ever do well, an artificial tree. Complain. Mike just. We finally did. Did you mind it, Scooter, when you got an artificial one? No, not at all. Mm -mm. Because we had real ones, you know, growing up. And then Dave and I, for many, many years in our marriage, we both wanted the the real tree. You can get, like, the scent, like the pine tree scent (laughs) for the tree, you know, just the same. It'll smell like your candle, get, like, a wax melt, you know? Scooter had a small breakdown. Yeah. Him. But, uh, yeah, we're used to the artificial now. It's fine. Yeah. They have such pretty ones, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I ended what? up getting two of the small um, artificial trees at Sweet Repeat. But I didn't even get them down out of the attic this year. I just thought, I'm just going to put up my pretty things this year. Mm-hmm. I gotta go get a charger. With all the quiet. Christmas stuff, with all the Christmas stuff you have, you don't need a tree. Your house is so decked out; it's gorgeous. Yeah, you don't yeah. Need yes. one. Look at that. That's gorgeous, Janae. Yes, somebody painted that for That's, me. It's like walking in a winter wonderland. Carolyn really painted is. that for you too, didn't she? She oh, yeah. did. Carolyn painted oh, that. She I didn't did. want to give away. Yeah, I, we, I, I hate that she keeps telling everybody. Well, you told us not to give it away because you were you didn't want everybody to know what the kind I of thing she did. I know, and do, Scooter but... has to keep telling everyone about it. Remember yeah. those twins you found? Yeah, yeah it's on beautiful. the beach. I know. Turqu- Hi, Eva. I don't know if you heard me, but Turquoise said that you used to have to match the colors to put the tree together. I don't know. You've never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. Your branches would have like a little yellow dot. Oh, and then yeah. I don't remember that. I guess oh, I like on the, the instru- end of it or something? I never yeah. read the instructions. I just. Yeah, because you had to put the bigger branches I first just went with the bottom. Bottom. and got it right. put individual branches in, but if you had to put individual I know, but I just went with the flow and did it, did it the way. Oh, no, I couldn't. My tree was just too freaking big. Mm, mine was too, 12 feet. Yeah. 30 feet? 30 feet. Yeah, used 30. to 30. Oh, no, mine yeah. was only 10. 30 is pretty big. Mine was 7. No, mine was 12. Oh, okay. Oh. Yours was bigger. You win. Thank you. <laughs> it's not a competition. It's not a competition. squirrel pillow since you brought it up? The squirrel pillow is with the fall stuff. Huh? The squirrel pillow is in there. The fall you still things. have it? Yes, I still have it. Okay. I'm wondering if Sharon has her pin. I do. I'm not wearing it. Hmm. It's on my coat. It's on your coat. Oh, it's on your coat. Okay. I am sorry to keep bringing this up. I don't know if any of them look at the chat. Did anyone see the screenshot of Jack D? Inside Corner Club, what are your Oh, thoughts? yes, I did see it, and I asked, hold on, let me see if someone answered me, okay? One second. Oh, yes. Okay, they sent it to me, um, but I don't know where it came from and what's going on, so I have to research it a little more. I don't know what, what it is. It, let me see. Can you see this map? Yes, I can. Scooter. Yeah, I have never seen it either, Shakira. Debbie, Scooter, can you yes. see this map? Can you see the map? What? 
can you see the map of Indiana? Can I see it? Yes, on the screen. There's oh. a map of Indiana. Can you see it? Oh, wait. Well, let me look. I only have Janae up here. Let me... Let me go to gallery. I don't know, Christine. Oh, I, I really do. don't yes. know what you're trying to tell me. Okay. Oh, the that orange place. Area, the orange area. Yeah, I think it's coming Kansas. from Four Chan. I would be very skeptical. Oh, wow. I'll, 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 okay, Sharon, that's way away from me. Yeah, it's not that far, is it? Well, no, it's just on the other side of the state. Well, um, God, you know, and then the down a ways, Ohio but side. that's not that yeah. bad. Okay. That's all yeah. I want to show you. Okay. How many miles is it from Hobart? H O B A R T. I wouldn't mind going there to look. Hand My daughter picked out her phone today, her first phone. Oh, really? Yeah. What She's kind? Been Samsung S22. See, she likes the, the Androids. That's I like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what she got. Yeah. Well, I don't have the S22. Oh, do you have the S21? My husband has that one. No, mine's the Gal Galaxy Note Plus. Oh, the Notes are even better. It's, a you know, a couple years old. but Yeah, the Note was one of the best phones I ever had. Really? Yes, really. Yep. Oh, she's Carolyn. She said it's on the latest on twit on Twitter. That's yeah, strange. but I believe it. Well, okay, I'll go ahead. But I believe it is um, still from that place. Let me see. About one hundred and thirty-three miles. One hundred and thirty-three. Yeah. Not that bad. Could be Might be closer from our cottage driving from there. Would you mind looking from Buffalo, Indiana? Sure. But it's closer. Um, let me see. Oh, that's so pretty, Janae. It's 106 miles. Okay. So two hours and eight minutes, almost the same distance, really. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. How do we know when this is even from? This this can be faked so much. Well, well what does this even thing, mean? You know. Confirmed. Adam is both the bartender. We know he's the bartender. And Jack D's friend. <laughs> so I don't know why this is making the rounds. Adam works at Corner Club. Yeah. I'm just looking at, I'm not saying to you guys, I'm talking to these guys on Twitter that are acting like this is some big thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, are, we know that. But this is, this is October 16th. Okay. I don't understand what this, the relevance of this is. 
Maybe I'm missing something. Probably trying to make it look like he was there in the bar that night with them, hanging out, like snooping, stalking. Yeah, that's not, but he's not even there in the pictures. It's, it's Adam. I don't know. I lost it. It's on the latest on Twitter, yeah. I did look at it, Shaquilla, but what does it really mean? We know Adam's the bartender, right? Right. Oh, scared me. This is the clock. It's just the clock. I wasn't expecting it. And I have those pictures too that are in that other thing, where the they say that's like the chief of police reaching for a gun. Oh, come on! No, 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 no! I haven't seen that. Oh my gosh. It does not look like Jack to me. Those like an oh my guy, sorry, I don't know. doing there? They are really reaching. Okay. What was that? I don't what know. Somebody's singing? really on this one thing. Was that you singing? I said they are really reaching. That's what I said. <laughs> this one <laughs> person on Twitter is really reaching with this stuff. Okay. Oh my gosh. What is this one doing? Johnny Danger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I believe, the pictures from 4chan and, um, yeah. Enough what said. is 4chan, Carol? And I've heard of that so worse, much. It's worse than Reddit. Yeah, it's a website. It's a forum board, rather. And it's really, yeah. yeah. Worse it's than on worse. Reddit? It's worse than Reddit, worse. you know, as in getting information. 4chan. <laughs> Scooter's like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I just hear that, and I never understand what it is. Oh, my God. The machine is believing. <laughs> You know I like to find the dirt. She found 4chan 10 years too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So bad. Oh, Let me God. look what's in the, the, the lunatics. Oh, gosh. Listen to this one. Oh, there boy. is someone named Bridget right now. She's on a live panel. She is saying she is very close to people in the case, and she has done a rant on how no one needs to be speaking on the case to mind their business. People started to question if she's the Bridget, and she left that live. Anyone else here see it? I have some parts screen recorded, but it won't let me post. 
<laughs> These people are, uh, yeah, I just had, oh my gosh. Jesus. And someone goes, who is the Bridget? It's Dylan's friend. And someone said, I, I know you can't share, but what was it on? And someone says, it was on TikTok. Oh, then it has to be true. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. And uh, and then everyone said yes, because everyone should listen to her. Ha ha, ridiculous. And someone said, did you see too? My jaw dropped because at how crazy she was talking. People aren't going to stop talking about this just because she wants people to. And the other one said, weird, she would even want people to stop talking about it. A friend of a friend murdered, and you just want people to stop? And she says, uh, no, I didn't, but she should not tell people what to do firstly, and secondly, she should mind her business. Yeah, very weird. Seems like nobody in that town is talking about it. I find it very strange. And she says, I agree, and the panel she went on is very good at only putting out facts and keeping it in a respectful manner with discussing the case, yes, on TikTok. I'm not sure what her issue was. <laughs> and it's crazy. crazy. Oh, my gosh. What kind of weird Someone said, do they understand what happened? How will this end without justice? No one can relax and watch more lives. Maybe gone because BB, I guess that's Bridget, wants us to go quiet on the case. Oh, my gosh. I agree. She said it's unfair that they have to go private. I understand to an extent, but she really didn't care to hide her profile or who she was going live on TikTok. She says if you didn't go to U of I, you have no right to speak on this. Um, this is crazy. And it's ruining their life. I can DM the video. It just won't let me post. Can you DM it to me too, please? And then she said... Uh, it's unfair, and she doesn't have another choice, to be honest. It can happen to any of us, and the only thing we can all do is obey and follow our safety. I mean, no one is safe around there anyway until that killer is caught. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here's another one. Something I haven't seen any posts about is the fact that J.D. was at that quarter club with Kay and M at closing time just before they went to the food truck. So is this when Kay broke it to him that she wanted nothing to do with him once she left for Texas? Did M then tell Adam, the bartender, J.D.'s friend and old roommate? Hence, what did you tell Adam? I'm not saying I think it was J.D., but would certainly provide a plausible motive. And then, oh, boy. Oh, it's, it's out of hand in here. Oh, Someone boy. said, I never heard JD was with them. What source is this from? And she goes, here's a screenshot of security video from that night at the corner club and another photo from his Facebook. Okay, and she's showing this photo here. Um, hold on. She's, they're showing this photo that's supposedly from the security camera, and they're comparing it to this photo from his Facebook. And then the person said, where did you get the security footage from? I haven't seen that anywhere. Does look like him, but hard to say, not knowing where it originates from. And she says, friend of a friend who works there. And people oh, start, okay. Who is that supposed to be? Um, that is Jack, but they're saying that a friend of a friend who works at the corner club released to their friend of a friend, the, the, yeah. to their friend who released it to the friend's friend, this video that it leaked, right? Yeah, okay. Someone said, even you may, look, that other one doesn't even look I like know. Him. I listen, First you may thing. want to edit post in some manner for additional context because this is not something we all know. It's actually new info to most, I believe. Side note, I also think it's weird nobody has posted about how the cleared list of people was not in the last release from law enforcement. So then someone said, so would you call this privileged information? And then someone said, he wasn't there. He was with his roommates who stayed up all night gaming. Then someone said, again, here's a screenshot. And they put, it, they put the screenshot down again. Okay, that same one. And then she pushed the other one and said, where was the security video posted? And someone said, that's definitely him. 
I question if it's him, not sure why a person that works there would share this when the owner isn't even talking. How do we know it's from that night or even that particular location? Somebody says, great point. Maybe the friend swore to secrecy to be his alibi. They said they were downstairs and he was upstairs sleeping. Hmm. Then someone said, OMG, it's the same freaking hat. Oh, these people, you don't want these people on your jury, okay? No. Uh, or they helped him. His alibi is their alibi. Same hat is in his Instagram profile picture. I believe your post, what you think may have happened. Hoodie guy is also standing off to the side in the photo I saw. JD was supposed to be sleeping at his apartment. They were with JS. No, JD, who knows where. JS was in Boise along with QK. JS was with them, but another JS was in Boise, Maddie's boyfriend. And so, so. Eva, I think it's on Facebook she's talking about, reading from. Yeah, it's nuts. These people are nuts, okay? Um, then someone said, no, they just confirmed he was asleep and they were playing videos all night. They stated he couldn't have left his room since the only way out is through his window and they were by the front door playing video games. Okay. They never said where he was prior to going to sleep. They said he went to bed around 1, I believe, but never stated where he was prior to going to bed. They said they know he never left the house after going to bed because they were all up playing video games. Someone said, let's see what else they said. That is not accurate. The story is that they all returned home around the same time that night and JD went to his room and the rest stayed up playing video games. Would want to know whether it was unusual for JD not to stay with them and play video games or did he routinely decline to play to, and go to his room? Anyway, it looks like he was out in the CC that night based on this newly released photo. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Um, here's a screenshot of the security photo. Here's the screenshot of the security photo, guys. Heard it. You're so welcome. It, it's, it was released by a friend of a friend. I think you might have that confused with the guy from the with the hoodie from the food truck video. I believe his name is also Jack. JD was sleeping. That's not JD. Clearly you haven't been following the case. No. Let's see. Someone said, we don't know for a fact he was sleeping. His phone was probably on silent and he left his room. That definitely looks like him, but it hasn't been released to the public, so that's why no one's talking about it. Okay. Um... This is getting crazy. It says, you're looking at photos of Jack in 2018. He looks different and has facial hair. It's literally the same hat. Probably not from oh November 13th, but definitely JD. That is all. Oh my gosh. Whoa. They were trying to get a hold of him 2.30 to 3 a.m. No one has ever stated where he was prior to going home and going to bed. Clearly we can conclude he wasn't at the corner uh, club at 2.32 to 2.56. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then they gave another, <laughs> another photo here. Let's see this one. Turquoise says, does anyone know for sure that JD lived, did live with bartender two houses away? I'm still trying to find out if it is true. The, I don't know about the bartender. I know about uh, JD is the one that lived over there. Yes, I'm sure they have the entire security video. Yeah, okay. And they're just giving it out, right? And the owner doesn't care, right? Um that's if they got it before it was recorded over, which happened with the gas station video. But not all of it was released to the public. Just the photo of Kaylee and Maddie with the food hoodie, hoodie guy. Okay. Maybe because they didn't want him to know they found the footage. See if he's going to keep looking to lie to them. Who knows? Law enforcement has all different kinds of tactics. Law enforcement won't let on about certain info, so they carry on confidentially, not sus that they're being washed. 
watched, see if he doesn't behave out of the ordinary. Why would J.D. have lied? How many times did Mads and Kay call him that night? I thought he was sleeping. Why didn't he answer his phone? But he was there at the food truck with the girls. W.T.H. Are you kidding me? I'm floored. Oh, my gosh. This is so crazy. But look at all the witnesses that know he was there. Only if he is a moron would he lie to police with all those people at the bar. Maybe it was taken on the night of the 12th. There's a date and time on it. Okay, here's another picture. And they say this is the chief of police coming in, reaching for his gun. Okay. Um, yet the girls are wearing the same outfits as they were wearing at the grub truck as a woman that was all partying for my teenage years, about 24. Very rarely do we wear the same exact outfits at the same time at the exact bars. We normally switch it up, especially in a small town. Okay. They went to the grub truck after leaving the bar. Yet the girls are wearing the same outfits. Okay, here's another one. Hold on. And this is the chief of police. Um, don't you think he knows who was at the bar? Okay, so um, this picture is from the bar that night. The time is stamped 132. Jack S., who was also seen by the door talking to some people in the full photo, was at the food truck with them. The girls didn't try to call him till like 2.32. The bar closes at 2. He could have gone home and gone to bed before they started calling him. Someone said, I think this picture is from the bar. They went to the food truck after. So K&M and J.S. went to the food truck. J.D., not known for sure just what his alibi is went home so jd could have been home sleeping at the time of the murders as he previously said let's see um, she's she's got a narrative and she's trying to make things fit into her they had been broken up for three weeks that's what his aunt said y'all making up so many stories i think he did it but i'm not going to make up some lies some of y'all have mental problems <sighs> Is there a timeline for JD, say 10 to 145? I haven't seen other than playing video games four hours. I want peace for the families. I think playing video games was after 2 a.m. and JD was not playing video games. He was sleeping, according to his friends, while they played games. If this picture is real, at the very least, we know he was at the bar at 1.30. Not sure if that helps answer your question or not. No, this person was in bed sleeping, I believe. Oh, my gosh. He is correct about J.D. being there. I haven't mentioned it either because I've not seen it mentioned here, so I knew I would receive exactly what this poster is receiving. I found out about this at least probably three weeks ago from a lady digging on Twitter. She is experienced in OSINT. I believe that's the proper initials, but it is in regards to geotagging, and that's how he was found to have been at the corner club. Now, she said geotag had him at the corner club at some point that night when the girls were there, but not necessarily at the end of the night. It wasn't around, it was around the same time that the police were called at the Moosehead Lodge across the street from the corner club because there was a call made for police at that club, the street from the corner club where the girls were there, and then the call was made in Banfield at 3.01 a.m. And y'all could go check it out just like the rest of us when we were trying to verify whether something's accurate or not. Just because you haven't heard about it in this group doesn't mean it's not being talked about and information isn't being spoken about in other places. You didn't know this screen grab was taken from CC footage. He didn't even hear about him being there. But this is information that is and has been out for a while now. There. So just because you didn't know about it doesn't make it not true. Oh, my gosh. And someone said, please send us a wider shot with the girls also in it so we can verify. Otherwise, it's just a random screenshot at any point. So then they send this in. Oh, my gosh. This is so okay. Nice to know they're keeping the drama to a limit. On I know, that. right? And right. said, oh, wow, this changes a lot now. Have you sent this to law enforcement? And then... Um, 
they said, this should be in your main post. This is a very skeptical group if you can't tell. Do you have any other shots you can share? Different angles? That's it. No, I assume they have the entire video. Wow, this photo needs its own thread. Yes, this is a game changer. Oh, wow. And hoodie guy right there. Ha! Huh. The fact that we are all mind blown by this little piece of information that could still be an innocent piece of information goes to show how little we know about anything. Except this now shows he may have been lying and his roommates. No, because the video timestamp shows 1.30. They said he went home and went to bed. We don't know what he did prior. I guess it depends on the time that they said he went to bed. Black hat, black jeans. Looks like the hoodie guy. Yep, I think the pants on the hoodie guy were lighter in FaceTime video, in the food truck video. How is this a game changer? I think it is. The timestamp would be around the time they left the bar and the hoodie guy was walking with them. He seems to be waiting on the girls to finish talking so they can leave. It is verifiable, and it sure in the heck does appear to be J.D. All it means and changes is that he was either dishonest or withheld certain facts pertaining to his whereabouts for that night. It seems to be he lied. Safe assumption. Lied about what? You have no idea what he told law enforcement. It was written that he was asleep when the girls called him. Nowhere was it stated that he hadn't been having a nice evening with them. Everyone just assumed he was fuming alone at home. This photo is proof that all was well with them at 1.30 a.m. Does the shadowing of the girls look right to you? But he did not disclose to the public where he was. Where are we even getting the information about the original timeline? We're getting it from here and other social media posts, which is not credible. When something is repeated enough, time, enough times, people begin to think it's true. We do not know the timeline, he stated to the police. All we know is that the police cleared him for now, and they already have this video in their possession. It looks like beer stains on the concrete floor. If you watch the video at the food truck, you can see where Hoodie Guy has his hat turned around backwards. Then in the video, he changes forward facing and put the hoodie over it, like in this picture, the still shot from the from the close uh, from the camera here. And then they put this one in there. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, guys. This is crazy. You're all commenting, otherwise are being foolish. This post is 100% on point. It's typically bottom feeders like you that put a laugh emoji. Hope you get out of your training diaper soon. Oh my gosh. It's so on point. You should have some of that security footage. I, please, don't send that Civil War looking shite fella plastered all over in the comments. No one knows for sure. Only Ellie does. Obviously, I'm not the owner of CC Dude. Ask them for the full video. Here's what I saw online though. I put this back on there again. This is 100% Kaylee and Maddie with Jack Decor at the CC that night. Well, that's the exact outfits they were wearing, and it certainly looks like him. I'm not disputing this in any way. Do you know them well? Wow. Obviously, your detective skills blow. The back of his bloody head? Please elaborate. What? Why, TF, are you so stingy? Please elaborate. You just called someone's brain the size of a peanut and keep posting her pictures. Imagine being in your 40s and bullying people on the internet. I'm commenting facts. If you can't handle it well, obviously your brain must be the size of a peanut, too. Good luck in life, bro. We can agree on that. Can you imagine the pain of the families? These beautiful souls des uh, deserve justice so they can finally rest in peace. I agree. Did you see the post with the Star Magazine cover saying this case has been solved? I can't imagine seeing that in stores if I was a family member or friend. Oh my gosh, I just did today. So heartbreaking. Very heartbreaking. I wonder where that magazine got their source from. These people think the Star Magazine is a major source. They think the Star Magazine knows. It's, it, they think it sees into the future. You should see the stupidity here. Anything's possible. You're all trying to say that's not him, when it clearly is. All that's needed now is the time and place of that security picture, and that puts a better spotlight on him. Great post-original poster. 
He doesn't have the strength or experience or skill to do that. He has the skill 100%. If this is in fact accurate, I have to say, U of I students might be the most tight-lipped group of college students ever. The sheer volume of people who had to have seen him and no one has mentioned this? That is wild if true. Everyone standing around must have seen him at some point. Not to mention, this is just one angle that bar looks pretty busy on game nights. Nobody would believe me that sleeping isn't a good alibi. What? It's true? Have you read the post? J.D. was in the club with M and K the night they were killed. I thought his roommate said he was asleep, and they were up all night gaming. They know he didn't leave. He must have snuck out through the window, SMH. It was just said that he was in bed sleeping at that time. So both can't be true. Both can be true. He was at the bar at 1.30 and still could get home in bed by 3. And yet J.D. did walk with the girls, go to the food truck, Exactly my thought. Where in the world did this come from? This thread in the corner bar, the night of the attack. Is that hoodie at the right of the edge of the drawn yellow circle? Yes. Don't you want just... to interrupt, but saying good night again. Okay, good night. Who's snoring? Yeah. Who's snoring? You just joined the group on the 23rd, and this is your first interaction? Yep, I seriously thought this was common knowledge. Never seen this anywhere before. I've been following pretty closely. Oh my gosh. I definitely think you're the first to share this. Have you got anything else? Seriously, though, be careful. Don't get yourself in trouble. If I were you, I'd make a few things private on your own Facebook. People are cray-cray. Take care of yourself. Oh my gosh. This is 100% spot on. So, he was where everyone else was at the corner bar prior to going home and going to sleep? What is the significance? He was out, then went home. If this is true, it pokes holes in his alleged alibi. That alibi was known by the cops who had this video for weeks. J.D. didn't inform the public of his alibi. This ad information was created in Reddit or some other site as to the timeline. Who knows what the original timeline came from? After the corner bar, his alibi of going home and to sleep may still be accurate. This footage was also never shared by law enforcement with the public. Law enforcement recounts of the girls' movements on the night never mentioned. The guy was with them merely hours before their murder. New footage is out. Only time will tell if it changes anything. Yeah. She apparently texted him a bunch of times after being unalived. I find it hard that things were cool from then on. Actually, this is good for JD. People were suspicious of why he wasn't hanging out with Kay. And then she was leaving for Texas soon. Well, here they are hanging out. But now new suspicions will arise. Because so many are betting on him being the perpetrator, it's gross and sad for him. Either way, this part of the lead-up was never mentioned by law enforcement or KG's family. There is significance to this omission. We will probably know why more soon. I don't think anyone was mentioned by law enforcement in their timeline. I could be mistaken. I thought they just said where the girls were not who they were with. This would make sense as to why she texted you, have to talk to me, we co-own a dog. Hello, can you tell me more about the text please, about where they texted the night of? Totally agree. First picture, black hoodie, white or light jacket. Second picture, white hoodie, black jacket. Where are these pictures I must see? Oh well, there are two pictures posted, but notice first picture has a different underneath color and jacket over top compared to the second. It's a screenshot of the CCTV footage of November 13th at the corner bar and the other screenshot is from the social media to verify it's the same person. Yes, but I'm the CC clip. In the CC clip it shows the girls talking to the first guy and in the right it's the hoodie guy from my perception. Anyone else agree? All right, so say it's him. Police have still not said he's believed to be involved and They've had this camera recording since the beginning of the investigation. Kaylee's family has also known, and I'm sure they have saw it here, saw him there. Apparently, he has some type of alibi as to why it wasn't him. The only thing that really changes is whatever someone wrote on Reddit about his alibi, which I don't know if you all have really learned with this, with all this, but people troll and make up stuff and post it as if they were there. So it's super hard to know if anything is actually legit anyway. Anyway, I will say the picture is interesting. I'm not saying it was JD. It just gives more context. I'm new to the group and honestly thought this was common knowledge. 
LOL, no, not at all. Your post is probably going to blow up by tomorrow when everybody wakes up. Oh, all anyone has to do is to confirm Jack Decor was there with the girls is to ask their friends that were at the corner club that night, too. It was a full bar on a Saturday night in a college town. Law enforcement yeah. has to already know this by now and have the full video in their possession, I hope. All these questions and answers and fabrications have been asked and answered, debunked, or repeated for six weeks. Well, I make sense as to the press release. It makes sense as to the press release as a saying that Adam is cooperating. Law enforcement also stated they will not release the name of a suspect. It can jeopardize their case if they don't have enough evidence to arrest him. Yet I doubt they would name him. In fact, they may say he's cleared to put him at ease and hope he would be willing to talk. Why is this news of any kind? Who said he wasn't at the bar? He was asleep at 2.52, not 1.30. The only thing this picture makes clear is that we're all getting along fine that night. Okay, and this just goes on and on and on and on and on. And they keep sharing it. And that's... What? Oh, you have to hear this one. I was out in my own kitchen tonight where I have one other person in the house right now and they are asleep. I was fixing some carrots and string beans. Do you know I can't go into the pan cupboard and get a pan out and cover to it without making a lot of noise. I can't get the cutting board out without making enough noise to think that perhaps I'll wake up the whole house and now I want to get a peeler out and a knife and start washing and chopping the carrots and string beans. Put the pan on the stove, get the strainer out to drain them, and then try washing up some pans, putting them away. All this makes noise, so I clearly understand the killer wasn't preparing vegetables in that house, but I can't believe that the killer wouldn't have made a lot of noise when you're in an agitated state and excited. I can't believe that you're all going to be going, that you're all, that you're going to be going mental on another human being, and wouldn't there be at least grunting, groaning, cussing, if not voicing things out loud enough to wake others? Long and, story, long and short story of this, how do you kill four people without making a peep of noises or enough to wake someone up in the house? And this is an older house, or at least a house that doesn't have great insulation and soundproofing. Nothing here solves the crime. Just bring some questions I can't answer. Gosh, this is crazy. The chances are whoever leaked this image could just have completely destroyed Ellie's advantage. By the way, I 100% stand by saying this isn't the X. It has different eyes, different facial structure, not long, thin, much more mature face. The only thing that looks common is the facial hair. I want to hear the 911 call. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you should see your girl in the bar. Talk to her for a bit. Then she leaves you there and takes off with her friend and another dude to the after hours food spot. And then you just go home within an hour and fall into such a deep sleep you can't hear the phone ring. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, now they're, they're, now they're trying to connect it to the Amityville murders. Amityville murders, yeah. Amityville horror. November 13th, 1974, 3 to 4 a.m. 112 was the street address. Killed while asleep. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Wait, is the address on this place 1122 also? 1122. Okay. Oh my gosh. Just stop. Just stop, people. Just freaking stop. I love the friend of a friend. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah, the friend of the friend gave the, gave the footage. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Friend's friend is. They can't even tell you who the friend is, let alone the friend of the friend. Oh my gosh. Nighty night, little lady. I think I'm gonna go to bed too. But night, little lady. Good night, everybody. God bless. Prayers for all that need, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Oh my gosh, I can't.